Bam. Bam. Let's mute this. Let's pop out the chat. Oh. All right. We're good. To my Google Coral Edge TPU. Are we on sub only chat? We'll, we'll let anyone chat. No one, anyone chat? Are you chatting? You hear people? We're drinking some watermelon kiwi CBD drink. Mm. You know, man, when you, when, you have a, when you have a hacker news thread uh, psychoanalyzing you, I cannot hate this, man. Like, can you talk about the ideas instead of, oh, George Hoss, he's crazy, he's arrogant. I don't think he's that arrogant. Yo, man, who gives a fuck, man? That's right. Big pimps. Yeah, you could write that, Chaz. Why would you not be allowed to write that? Big pimps. That's cool, man. That's cool. That's inclusive language. We love inclusive language. All right. Uh... No, no, silent dribbler, you can't say big pimps. No, that's bullying, man. That's bullying. Uh, I'm trying to find a USB. I think I can just plug it into the hub. Do we have a port? No, no. Uh-oh, what if we don't have a port? Where are we going to plug in our Google Coral? I need a USB to, to, to USB A to C. I didn't prepare everything for this stream. Let's see. No, it has to be here. Because what is the network cable attached to? Oh, here it is. All right, what can we unplug? Um, not my webcam. Not my microphone. What's this last one? My keyboard. We can't unplug that either. This is a problem, boys. Where am I going to plug my Google Coral in? Let me see. Does the monitor have more USB ports? Sorry for moving you. N nope. Full. Oh, there's one on the hacker and happy hacking keyboard. Maybe if I go like, hang on. What if I unplug this? Plug this guy into here. Let's see if that works. Nope, now I don't have a mouse. Great. Should have plugged it in before I uh, found this useless wire. Oh. All right, well, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make this work, boys. Yeah, I appreciate some of your emails. Some of you guys are good emails. Uh, yo, you know what, bro? Like, I was telling the the, the Verge guy. You, you want to read some fake news? Like, I was like, yo, call me. Um, like this shit, man. Uh, constantly needing to raise investment cash. Who, what kind of company are you talking about, man? That ain't nothing I built. You know? Uh, honestly, comms probably better without me, guys. Uh, look, I'm just like... Oh, shit. Wait, this is USB-C. If I just find a USB-C to C cable, that I know I have. I know what to look for that. Oh, we'll be there in a minute with that. No, like, guys... You know, it just, it takes a different person. Like, you want to be a $100 million revenue company, right? All right, so like our product margin is like 60%, let's say. But that means you need to manage the outflow of $40 million in cash. Right? And you need to like do this on a schedule. Is this for me? I don't know, man. You know, I really, one of my, one of my limitations, um, I used to play Super Smash Bros. 64 competitively. And one of my limitations always was like, I'm not patient. I just want to attack, man. 
You know? Yeah, George is popular enough. The Verge covers his blog posts. Oof. Oof. Um. Uh, homies. Yeah, homies. We got a C2C cable, homies. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's see if this works. Uh, watch LSUSB. All right, we're plugging in our Google Coral Edge TPU, TM, sponsored ad. I have no idea who the fuck Andrew Tate is. I don't have thoughts on him. Sorry for getting right up in your ear. All right, look, we got a light on. That right, looks good. Uh, invalid integer constant. All right, that's cool. Global Unichip Corp. All right, let's just see if this works. Um, Connect.py? No module named Hexdump. Oh, did I not put Python 3? I did put Python 3. Wait, I don't have Hexdump installed? Wow, it's been a while since I've done any of that stuff then. No module named USB. Oh, let's just upgrade PIP. Yo, who's excited for Python 3.11? No, it's not the death throes of comma. Com like, I, look, I read comma Slack this morning. Everything is super normal. Like, it's a company, guys. Y'all think it's like me in a garage. It hasn't been me in a garage for a long time. All right? And like, I don't know, how much do I feed this mythology? It's a 20-person company. You guys know Harold, you guys know Alex, you guys know Adib. They run the company. Like, they're better at it than me. I don't know what you want me to say, guys. Like, is it in its death throes? No, we have like $7 million in the bank account. We're on track to profitability again. Like, we did a lot of outlay for parts for more comma threes. Like, we're gonna make lots of them. We're gonna deliver more functionality. Um, the trajectory looks good. Yeah, no, I just like, I just sit in my office and like, there's not that much for me to do, you know? Like, nah, look, look, how good am I as a software engineer, right? You know, I, there's always this debate, like, do 10x software engineers exist, right? And when it comes to like fixing bugs in like a front end of some web thing, like the daily grind of software engineering, I mean, 10x definitely exists, right? But like, like, do, like, 100x or 1,000x exist? Maybe not. Uh, but they do exist when you're, like, making early decisions, when you're making prototypes. Getting your initial decisions correct, uh, you can, like, there's a, there's a big uh, sway to which things can go. And, like, a lot of times, you know, it's hard for me to think about, like, here, here's something. Here's something. And this is kind of, like, why I'm bored with, uh, with comma. And the, Open Pilot is really, really good. Uh, and like, maybe there's three types of people. There's like the type of people who just are content with the idea. Uh, and that's not me. I have to build the thing. You guys know I have to build the thing. Um, and I do, I build it. And, but once I build it and it like works for me, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not that concerned with, with like, I I've never been driven to, uh, like, like, and this is maybe something just broken about like my empathy. Like some people are like, oh, I'm so happy to see other people using this. I'm like, I don't really care, man. You know, and it's like people are like, well, George, why do you care about the open source stuff? And like, because I don't want the, like, if you have something that's closed source, someone can attack you for it, right? Someone can come take it from you. That's why I care about the open source. Not because like, I want to like, I like to see other people use it. But I, I do think there are people like that. Uh, so guys, like, you know, if you're that type of person, uh, go work at Kama. Uh, you know, there, there's a there's a real potential for like really big growth to the Open Pilot product from like a sales number perspective. Um, from like an actual functionality perspective, there's some, but it's not as big as that initial zero to one. And that initial zero to one of functionality is what gets me really excited uh, versus the like zero to one of like making a product and like pitching it to normal fucking people. You guys know how we feel about normal people on this channel, right? Right? How do we feel about normal people? Um, 
Do I still own it? Uh, yeah. No, I, I, look, I'm keeping my board seat. I'm still the board. I'm still going to do approvals for large purposes, uh, purchases and equity grants. Uh, yo, I eat Whoppers too, man. There's nothing abnormal about eating Whoppers. You know what? I don't eat the Oreos. They're disgusting. Oh, all right, we got to figure out how to install. Did I do a requirements.txt? Oh, good guy, GeoHot. Oh, yeah, look at that. Pi USB. List index out of range. Okay. Um, connect. Downloaded. Napping quick, bro. Okay, good. My Google Coral outputted that the picture of banana was a banana. Um, am I like Zuck with super shares? Hell yeah, man. I told my lawyers literally when we set this up that I want a Zuckerberg, man. We're going to Zuckerberg. You know what? And I'm not just saying this because I own Metastock and I do own Metastock. I bought Metastock after uh, Zuckerberg's Lex Friedman interview. And is it one of the greatest mistakes of my life? No. Even though I lost a lot of money, you got to lose money to stand up for what you believe. No, guys, it's a mistake. I'm just trying to cope. But like, look, I'm not going to be like Jim Cramer and cry about it, right? <laughs> uh, I listened to yeah, I listened to a good bit of the uh, Carpathia. Maybe like an hour and a half into it. Uh, will George the Fourteenth also come? <laughs> uh, that's a later problem, guys. That's a later problem. Uh, we're gonna zuck him. We're gonna Zuckerberg him, right? No, but look, I respect, I respect uh, Mark Zuckerberg actually trying to do something. Uh, you guys know I'm a fan of Elon buying Twitter. Um, no, and I, you know, I, I think that uh, you guys know I'm a very moderate person. Uh, like politically, I, I think that uh, Elon, uh, yeah, will we'll do a good job uh, making something that is fair for, for everybody. Um no, I, I like that he's calling out like the New York Times. You guys know I'm not a fan of the New York Times. Um, it, these people had a monopoly on information and they no longer do. Uh, so, yeah. Will Elon be China's puppet? I don't think so. Guys, <laughs> uh, like he lives in Texas, man. I don't think he's really motivated by selling a few cars in China. I think like there's a, you know, I think he's a reasonable guy. And I think if China's being reasonable, he'll be reasonable. If China becomes unreasonable, he's not gonna like, I think Disney is more likely to bend over to China's demands than Elon. Like, you know what I mean? Elon will eventually get to the point. Hey, screw you guys, man. Um. Aren't I better positioned to tackle AGI with Kama's supercomputer? Guys, no one's tackling AGI in the next, I promise you in the next five years, there will be no AGI. None of this shit's AGI. There's, again, if you're talking about AGI as in a computer that can do all tasks better than a human. Um, though I did see a blog post, a blog post, Amazon warehouse worker burnout. Some guy, uh, here, I, I, I read this. Uh, oh, he had like a blog, which wasn't like terrible at like Yahoo Finance. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm thinking about applying the work at an Amazon warehouse. Does George see the chat? Yeah, wait, oh, my viewer count's high? Oh, what do we got? Uh, we, we got a high viewer count? That's not that high. What are you talking about? I hear back from OpenAI. OpenAI does not want me as an intern, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, OpenAI doesn't want me. I would love to be an intern uh, at either OpenAI or DeepMind if they'll have me. Uh, but, you know. They know why I'm there. They know I'm there because I want to see how things work. Right. Again, I think I'd be a useful intern. I think I'd contribute value, but uh, 
I'm high. No, some people you can't get some mods. Why is this chat nuts? Oh, because of people posting bullshit? Oh, I don't know. Ra Ra 101. All right, banned for life. There we go. Congratulations, bro. Congratulations. You just got a ban for life. You trusted my shitty gigs on protein folding and now you lost your PhD fellowship. I love that we're influencing people on this channel, man. I love that we're influencing people. Did you tell your professors that cloth masks do nothing to prevent the spread of respiratory disease? Is that what lost your PhD fellowship? Is it comma body a new high leverage project? Yeah, but how much should I be fucking around with comma bodies when there's an actual company to run? You know what I'm saying? I, if I want to fuck around with comma body, should I really take commas resources to do that? Think about it. Uh, start Tiny Corp. I mean, yeah, the Tiny Corp is look. The Tiny Corporation already exists, right? Look, I'm, I'm back. Uh, you know, you can see that 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 my hustle is kind of bad. You know, I've kind of been lazy with the programming, but four days in a row that's pretty good. We're coming back. Um. Hey, look, I'm not too upset with my, my graph, but, like, I could do better. Uh, can I mute this other guy? If he talks again, I'll, I'll ban him. Did I check out Hacker News? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great. Uh, ha a nice Hacker News breakdown of my personality. Just what I love to wake up to on a Monday morning. Uh, oh, some of this shit was funny. Uh, you you, know, you, want, you want to do Hacker News comments? Should we do Hacker News comments? Is Carpathia comma a possible scenario? Well, I don't know. I mean, I look, I watched, I watched half of his, uh, his Lex. I, I think that he might have similar uh, sort of feelings that I do. Uh, I mean, who knows, right? Well, and also, like, look, is this forever? Am I leaving comma forever? Probably not. Um, but for, like, the next year or so, like, comma needs to make a consumer product. And I'm not the guy for that. You know, I, I think that actually the team that's there now has a better shot of figuring it out than I do. Uh, again, and it's because I fundamentally don't care. Right? Like, I don't care about shipping products to people. I, I just, I don't. And like, some people do. I, I remember they always tried to pick big tech companies to me like this. Like, George, you can, you can impact the lives of millions. And I'm like, I just honestly give zero fucks about that. George, you can't say that. You have to care about people. Do I, bro? Do I? I didn't sign the social contract, bro. I didn't sign it. Um. Oh, yes. Oh, anti-hero. Oh, so good. So good, Miss Swift. Uh, you know, I thought about going on 4chan this morning and posting a comfy Taylor Swift thread. And it's just like pictures of Taylor Swift wearing comfortable clothes. Uh, what do you think? Um, sounds like something you, you heard at, yo, I am not Jewish, guys. I am not Jewish. Uh, uh, fortune all bots now. What well, you guys look? Uh, look, I mean, look, I, I look, I'm, um, uh, uh, what do you think about Kanye? Uh, look, man, I love, what did he say? Let yay be, let yay, let yay be yay. I, I think people take words way too seriously these days in general, right? I think, yeah, the, the reporter, uh, friend of mine reached out to me this morning about my blog post, like, you doing okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing okay. Like, it's. People read words today and they think they like they 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 imbue so much meaning onto them, right? Uh, you know, you, the Kanye thing, like, you know, remember when Kanye was on the news it was like, yo, George Bush doesn't care about black people. Like, it's a shock jock, man. Shock jock. Uh my consent to the social contract is implicit. No, it's not. I'm getting a lawyer, man. I'm getting a lawyer. I didn't sign that shit. Um Am I gonna buy a blue check? No way, man. That's like paying for admission to the club. I get into the club because I'm pretty, man. And famous. Uh, the blog post sounded a bit schizo. 
All right, we're gonna look for the Garden of Eden, man. You don't like that? You don't like that? Um, what are you gonna do today? All right. So we have the uh, man. I did drink this today. Do these things fuck you up? Feel a little fucked up, you know? Watermelon kiwi, mad tasty. Broad spectrum hemp extract. It's CBD. It's not supposed to be psychoactive, but uh. Let's debunk HN personality comments. Nah, come on, guys. We got better things to do today. Um, would I like to see Twitter uh, improve? Yeah, I think that like there's a lot of ways to make a social network. Uh, you, you have to not optimize for engagement. You have to optimize for quality. People have talked about this before. Um, like, you want to optimize for, like... Okay, so like two people flaming each other is engagement, but will never change anyone's mind, right? So yes, your short-term metrics may show large numbers of users and big amounts of engagement, but long-term, like, you know, I, went, oh, this was, I, I wrote this, this was some lyrics to an unreleased song. It was like, yo, when Facebook sent me that email, you know, saying that I, I hadn't talked to Patty in a while, you know, they see that I clicked the link, they see that I messaged Patty, but they don't see how much more I hate Facebook, right? Mm. Uh, where's my Boston Dynamics dog? Yeah, guys, look, comma has got a lot of things to do that aren't, um... You want a social network that gives content not created in the last week. So yeah, there we go, right? Like not optimizing for recency is another interesting idea. Uh, Alex is still a comma, yes. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think Trump should have been banned. Uh, I think that like, I like what they're doing now with the, uh, for the public figures, they have like the, I mean, I'd like to see some actual like fact checking on public figure things, but not like, fact checkers right like not like not like the 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 incredibly biased fact checkers but people actually saying like like imagine that right imagine when like trump tweets out something like you know offensive and ridiculous right imagine you actually like had like a breakdown and there's the red box and the blue box and it says this is how conservatives interpret this this is how liberals interpret this right and it's like you know again it, it's a uh, I don't know exactly how to do that, right? I'm not, look, I'm not, I'm not here to make Twitter features. I don't ever want that job, man. I don't ever want that job. Uh, but like, yeah, imagine a social network that was designed for, uh, designed to actually like, instead of like, like just steal man the other person's viewpoints, right? Um, some of the context they give is actually useful. Yeah, I've seen some of the some of the new ones don't look nearly as bad, right? I'm talking about like the fact checkers who like, you know, like like Politifact and stuff, who are these just biased organizations. Um, when is the Tom Cruise concert? Yo, should I do a show, guys? Should I like work on my live performance and do a show? Will you guys come to that? If I put a show on, y'all right, come to the dive bar in San Diego, all right? I'm rich as fuck and you shit soft. If you went to college, you got ripped off. Uh, do the Cold War. All right, now that's what we're gonna end with, right? We're gonna like that's 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 the last. We gotta we gotta start with the like less well-known songs in the catalog. Come on, we'll, we'll play a new song. You know, everyone will just kind of stand there and look awkward. I think I can put a good show on. Uh, what will the tiny corporation be like? Well, let's start with the fact that it's tiny. Um, sing about the tiny corp. <laughs> No, no, like three employees, guys. Not many employees. Damn. I thought we were going to work today, but I don't know how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling a little jittery from the yerba mate. A little high from the, the CBD drink. Y'all think I'm on drugs, man. If I was on drugs, you think I'd be fucked up from 20 milligrams of CBD? You know, y'all think I'm on drugs all the time? Yeah, guys, like... You know, it's nothing like that with comma. I, I hope that people see like, 
you know, me leaving Calm was a lot more like Carpathia leaving Tesla. Again, they're when I'm a wartime CEO, you know. If I ever am a CEO, that's I'm I'm here for war. I'm here to fix things. I'm here to make big changes. I'm here to to to, to fuck shit up. Uh, now when it's like, well, George, you're gonna have to like plan ahead and you know you have to plan this marketing campaign launch event for six months and well you're gonna have to make sure your supply chain's properly managed and you know you got to pay this import tax from the oh my god you guys watch the link rick and morty quote well we'll watch it it's not too copyrighted it's it's fair use fair use right you know what grandpa rick He's strong, and he's never going to give up. Uh-huh, yeah, I don't care. Oh, I know. Everyone knows you don't care. So? So, have fun not caring. I always do. Good. Yeah, it is good. It's the best. I'm sure it is. Bye. Later. I'm here to pick up my undead cat and child. Yeah, uh, g g give me a sec. These are the forms for the employee health plan? All right, yeah, put, put them on my... Uh. I just got bored. Everybody out. Uh, yeah, I don't have the capacity to see a real CEO of a real company. I'm not Elon Musk, guys. I, I don't know. I don't know uh, who thought I was. <laughs> I just got bored. Everybody out. Um. That's my blog, guys. Go to geohot.com. Uh, did I burn comma? No, I didn't burn it, guys. Look, again, I haven't really done that much for like the last almost year. We do have one forty ninety. I think we bought a bunch more, too. Um, Who owns it? I mean, I still own it, guys. Like, I'm, I'm still on the board, right? Uh, no, I, I, okay, I'll, I'll explain this once more. It's like, some people care about, like, shipping products to people. I don't. I, I really, I don't. I never really did. Um, like, even the jailbreaks, guys, like, it was, it was memes, you know? Like, I made y'all look at my face, man. I made you look at my face, right? I don't give a fuck if your phone can do some new bullshit. Like, I just don't care. I never really did. Like, this is, this is about a 19-year-old kid, you know, being like, yeah, they all look at a picture of my face. Look at the size of my ego. He's got a big ego. You know that song? Um, no, nah, he's banned. He's banned. He's canceled. We can't sing anymore Kanye, man. We can't sing anymore Kanye. He's done. He's done. We can't sing it. We can't sing it. It's done. <laughs> um, I am the largest shareholder, yes. Look, guys, you know, as far as as far as dictators go, uh, I've never sold a share. Uh, the total amount of money of all my salaries, the integral of all my salary, a comma, six years probably amounts to like, oh, uh, five, six hundred K. Right, like nothing. I thought about bringing Jim Keller into the tiny corporation. Funny you say that. Funny you say that. Uh, yeah, you'll, you, we'll see. We'll see what happens with the tiny corporation. We'll see. I'm, I'm working on. I'm working on a contract. Uh, hopefully, it comes through. Uh, but we'll see. Nothing set in stone. Uh, but yeah, the idea kind of of the tiny corporation. I guess I'll introduce it here. Is there's a lot of performance to gain. If, if you think about, ah, right, here, we'll, we'll do this in, we'll do this in an editor, okay? So let's talk a little bit about the history of programming languages, right? So we used to have assembly, right? And then people were really excited when they had these new high level languages like Fortran and COBOL, okay? Um, so if you think of the history of, uh, of, uh, you know, uh, ML frameworks, right? Well, you used to have, like, think of AlexNet, right? It's hand-coded, right? And now we're, oh, people are so excited. We have things like TensorFlow and Fortran and uh, PyTorch, right? But 
the, these things are like the like assembly, you know, Fortran COBOL kind of levels of uh, like where we're at, right? Um, so if you think about what comes next in programming languages, right, you, you start to get things that look like C and Python, right? Now where, oh, mtastic85, uh, thank you for gifting subs. Um, you know, you come down here and you're like, okay, so what's here, right? Well, let's think about C and Python and, and what kind of give them their power, right? So uh, C is, um, is uh, compiled, fast, uh, it's clean, right? Um, and then you have Python, which is, you know, interpreted. Ah, oh, I didn't spell that right, did I? Uh, Python, you know, interpreted slow-ish, uh, but still, you know, uh, pseudocode, right? So if we're making a new ML framework, um, I, I kind of see ML frameworks targeting, uh, like it doesn't even have to be two different things because a lot of the slowness in Python comes from the fact that the types are dynamic. Um, I, I can see you getting both the benefits of C and Python in a single new language uh, with ML frameworks because everything is uh, like is is uh, it, it's beyond statically typed, right? I talk about this in, in one of my blog posts where you get down to like um, if compute is uh, CPU, GPU, DSP, uh, neural networks are all DSP, right? The you don't ever need to do a load from a computed address. Maybe some new things will start to look like that, but I, I still doubt it. And I think you'll beat them with just straight up like tons of tons of Malax and, uh, and I, like even transformers, which are different, right? Transformers have quote unquote fast weights because they it's a matrix multiply where, um, you know, it's a, it's a dense matrix multiply where both sides are, uh, Right. Most of the time when you have a matrix multiply, like in, in like a ResNet, right? You have a matrix multiply, which looks like input cross weights equals output. But um, in a transformer, you have input cross input yields outputs, right? And these are like maybe which make what we fast weights. Uh, so you'll see that I actually added support. There's now in OpenPilot, OpenPilot uses TinyGrad. Yeah. Uh, OpenPilot uses TinyGrad here. And TinyGrad now supports this kind of, uh, of thing, which like SNPE doesn't. So you can use, uh, I mean, this is attention, right? You have your like uh, queries and your keys or something, queries and keys and then the values. Uh, so when we think about what a new ML framework is going to look like, right? Um, first off, TensorFlow and PyTorch are languages with, they're, they're incredibly complex languages. Um, PyTorch has, it, it's really hard. You know how you know how complex a, uh, an ML framework is? How much effort is it to add a new accelerator? With TensorFlow, almost no one even tries because it's so complex. With PyTorch, people kind of try, but remember on my Stable Diffusion stream where people, uh, where we found that bug, we found that bug in PyTorch on the M1. And the reason bugs like that can exist is because you have to go pretty like far back in the abstraction stack. Uh, you, maybe the API is like wide where you have to implement a new accelerator. In TinyGrad, the API is very simple, what you have to enter in, uh, to, to do a new accelerator. You just have to implement these operations, um, which fall basically into, into these four categories, right? So unary ops, they're just like, like you can think about, they operate on one tensor and they output another tensor of the same size. Um, binary ops operate on two identical size tensors and output one uh, new tensor. Uh, reduce operations. Reduce operations shrink tensors, right? Uh, they can do like sum or max across axes. Uh, then we have movement ops, which these don't actually change any of the data. They just change the views into the data. So uh, TinyGrad has this uh, class called shape tracker, 
which will handle all the movement ops without actually making copies of the data, and it will just make the copy at the last minute. Um, processing ops conv is just purely for speed up, and we can probably remove it eventually. Um, if you go to this implementation, which doesn't use the processing op, uh, a convolution is really just a set of movement ops followed by a mull and then a sum. Uh, a mull and then a sum is also a matrix multiply. So for matrix multiplies, you see them here in Tensor. Uh, here we are in Matmul. And you see that Matmul is actually just transformed into a convolution. Uh, so by having a very small API at the end here, it becomes easy to add new accelerators. And then I think we have some of the nicest uh, syntax to write this stuff in as well. Like you can look at my implementation here of stable diffusion. Um, like it's just, it's way simpler looking than a lot of the torch code. And this isn't even well refactored. Um, with a bit of refactoring, these APIs due to their complexity acquire all of these quirks. Uh, and yeah, you can really do without them. So even things like, like conv2d, like that, that goes pretty deep uh, in the PyTorch code. Like go look at conv2d in PyTorch and try to understand where stuff's actually implemented. Like here, you can see that it's just here and it's just, okay, this is the whole conv2d code and it just calls that. All right, and it supports all the same options as a PyTorch conv. Uh, you're almost done with Cherry on FPGA. So I think I did Cherry prematurely. Um, I didn't have all the abstraction layers in place. We're not quite ready for chips yet, but one of the reasons I'm trying to support like every accelerator in the world before we think about making our own chips is I'll, I'll get really to the right thing. And then like, I don't even really want to make chips. Uh, what I want to do is make a, like I want to get to the FPGA level. And then I want to work with uh, other companies uh, who want to make chips, right? Similar to what NVIDIA does with NVDLA. Uh, and like by work with, I, mean, I don't mean like in some like stupid partnership thing. Uh, so sus boy Sam, thank you for gifting subs. Um, how would you compute the gradient? Oh, the gradients are all computed here in this thing called ML ops. So these are the mid-level ops and the mid-level ops are the ones that have gradients defined. Uh, it looks very similar to uh, PyTorch. Am I going to hire from Taiwan? We're not really hiring. Uh, if somebody like contacted me who was incredibly talented, like uh, I reached out to the guy who wrote Triton. I think Philippe is his name. Uh, or he reached out to me and we, we chatted for a bit. Like if someone like that wants to like, I think I can, you know, has experience with this stuff and wants to like make the CUDA backend fast and just wants to have conversations about, you know, what things are fast and memory coalescing and, you know, who knows about polyhedral compu uh, computation. If, if someone like is really an expert on this stuff and wants to come join the tiny corporation, uh, I'd be open to it. But, you know, it's, it's not no bigger than three people. This is not a real corporation, guys. This is going to be a quick way to make some money. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get contracts. By the way, if, if you uh, if you work at an AI chip company and you're like, well, we have this chip, but our software is really shitty. Well, I can make your software good. Um, I think I can write a stack that's uh, very competitive with a, uh, like whatever you're, you know, you have a 10, you have a 12 nanometer chip similar to V100. You have a 70 nanometer chip similar to an A100. You have a 5 nanometer chip similar to a uh, H100. I, I think we can get that level of competitiveness uh, for training with with maybe about a year of work. And then, like, if you want to implement, if you want the PyTorch API, you can implement PyTorch on top of TinyGrad. Um, well, when Tense Torrent sells chips, we can we can talk about that. Uh, what will the money be for? Well, I'm not raising money. I'm definitely not raising money. Uh, I'm interested in, in contracts, and then I'm going to spend the money on yachts and hookers. All right? Hookers on my yacht, bro. Isn't that what you're supposed to do when you have a startup? Uh, is it better to have a CEO with some humility or zero humility? You know, this is what kills me about those hacker news threads. This shit doesn't matter, guys. It's better to have a CEO with skill, right? I don't know how correlated humility is to skill. Um, 
that this skill is what matters, right? You could have a guy who's like super, the, the personality is way less important than the actual skill. Uh, I don't know, Zaka has skill, he's got more skill than me, man. Like, you know, you, if you want to judge the success of a CEO, like, oh, like, look at how long their company's been around with the market cap or something. Zuck made a stupid move though. Uh, I listened to John Carmack's Lex Friedman. The man wanted to be czar of VR. Why did you not let him? Right? You literally have one of the greatest uh, game developers in history who wants to come make your metaverse thing successful. And you're like, no, we actually leave it up to a diverse committee. Well, shit, man. That's when I should have sold my meta stock. Oh, man. I'd be less underwater if I'd sold it then. Um, uh, polyhedral computation look so you're left with things like at the end of tiny grad uh, at the end of these optimizations you get in an AST and the AST can do a bunch of element wise ops a reduce op and then a bunch more element wise ops right um, and then like how these reduce ops end up looking has to do with how you want to schedule the computation. Because if you view that computation as like that's an atomic uh, operation, like then you can do a lot of these things in any order, right? You can, you, can, you can read in a lot of different orders and still compute the correct thing. Uh, so yeah, this, this like, I'm just learning this stuff. I'm not really a, an expert at it yet. So I, I can't speak with too much uh, authority, but um, I, I like, <laughs> Uh, I was reading this last night. Uh, yeah, and then like I look at like trying to use Triton and I'm like, it looks very complicated to me. Uh, I'm not sure it has to be so complicated, but like um, have use of block level data flow analysis, right? So uh, that's like, that's cool stuff, right? Um, and like where we want to get to in order to make the uh, stuff fast, right? I added a new backend to TinyGrad. I did most of it on stream, called LLVM. Um, uh, I was looking into also the, uh, there's these instructions on the M1 called the AMX instructions. And it's like, a, it's a, it's a MOLAC grid. Uh, this is very similar to what's in the Tesla FSD chip. Uh, so you, it will take each one of these things, you can load up like an X vector and a Y vector, and then it'll do the, it'll do multiply accumulates. In this, in this big square Z. Uh, and you can do like really fast matrix multiplies doing these. In fact, I was getting 1.7 teraflops on only uh, my M1 uh, CPU, right? And then you can only get like 100 gigaflops out of the Neon. Though I was getting faster than 100 gigaflops in the Neon when I actually benchmarked it. I was getting more like 150, but then it's using a Winograd comp. And I don't know if that uses less flops. Um, How much size and speed do I think a new ML chip could yield? Well, the truth is we really don't know yet. And here's what I'll say to anyone who's thinking about an ML chip. If your software isn't first competitive on a GPU, right? if whatever you build can't be competitive on a GPU, uh, I don't think your chip's going to be competitive, right? Like, cause it's, it's, it's not really a hardware problem. It's a software problem and figuring out what hardware to build. Um, if you're just trying to do inference and you're not trying to do training, like this even might be usable for training. Uh, NVIDIA has this open source thing called NVDLA. And like here, this is what the core looks like, right? And it's, it's based around convolutions, activation pooling, uh, local response normalization, right? Like 
uh, you know, uh, this is something else we should we should work on uh, supporting, uh, like add support for MVDLA to, to TinyGrad and make sure that we're keeping the framework flexible enough to support all the accelerators that exist today. Uh, I have a rock chip dev board somewhere too, and that thing has an interesting custom neural accelerator in it. Um, how fast is TinyGrad on a 3090? Uh, not that fast right now. It's like, it's not fast because I haven't optimized the GPU code yet. I'm still working on getting the abstractions right. Like, you don't want to prematurely optimize, right? You want to think about, you want to like kind of, like I still have to do a pretty big refactor here. Well, it's not that big of a refactor, but like this is, this this lazy.py is so much more readable than lazy.py was once I've moved into passing the ASTs into the LLOPs. I says, you know what an AST is, an abstract syntax tree? That's just like, uh, like I said, it's element-wise, uh, reduce element-wise, right? And these can be in like a tree. Um, so since I've started passing the ASTs into here, lazy got much more readable. And I've started to realize that like, this stuff's all junk. Like these can be replaced by a generic function. Um, this shouldn't be here. Like there's so many lines to lose here by returning an AST instead of this horrendous tuple um, from these realizers. And then I can put a lot of this stuff down here in this realize function. I can probably add like five lines here and delete like 20 lines up here. Um, here, make all perhaps unrealized. Yeah, I might even be able to not have the AST be realized. That'd be really cool. Uh, and then I can realize like everything recursively in the, in the realize function. Uh, and then you have like less levels of indirection too, which would make Python a bit faster. But yeah, there, there's probably 20 lines to lose here. We could do that if you'd rather do that on this stream. I just think that like refactoring is nowhere near as exciting as like um, going and trying to implement uh, new things. Uh, is neural accelerator just a fancy term for faster dot products? Well, okay. So here's something that's in TinyGrad right now. I'll show you. Um, so here we can do something like examples benchmark train efficient. Uh, let's do this on the GPU and set hop equal to two. Okay, so this is a efficient net two with batch size eight. And then actually we have to say backwards equals one if we want to do the backwards pass tail. So it's it's not very good yet. This is on this is on the M1's GPU. Um, so you see it's taking about a second to do batch size eight. Um, but here's something that's cool. And this is like the kind of power you only get from TinyGrad. We can say like debug equals two, right? Now this is printing out all of the uh, kernels that are running in OpenCL, right? Um, let me just set num equal to one and we'll just do one. Wait, what? That should be. Oh, count. Okay, this is just gonna do one one uh, step. So you can see that this did 39.44 gigaflops of compute uh, in order to compute that, right? Now, the it took, uh, don't worry too much about this, it, it takes a second, right? So if it's taking a second to do 39 gigaflops on a GPU that in theory has 11 teraflops of compute, so like 11 teraflops on the on the M1. Well, I have an M1 Max. I want to get this wrong. You people like know this stuff. Oh, George said he had an M1 Pro and he has an M1 Max. I don't know this shit, man. All right, but uh, my point is, we're getting like there's so much inefficiency uh, there, and you, even even when we when I did the math for this um, at Comma for how much of the like 3090 we were using, uh, and uh, like it's it's off by a factor of ten. Um, how many flops the thing has without even going to the tensor cores versus how much it's actually using? We're only getting about three teraflops of compute. Uh, how do they get the eleven eleven teraflop figure? You multiply your number of multiply accumulate units by uh, your clock speed, basically by two, because it's multiply accumulate. Look, those new matrix multiply tricks are generally not faster. Uh, did I see this? OpenAI blog trite. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, but like, see, this stuff, like, this is complicated. It should automatically be done. One of the big advantages of TinyGrad is that it's lazy. Um, so TinyGrad doesn't, uh, yeah. In, in Torch, if you naively write something, let's say you write like A times, well, actually, let's say you want to implement ReLU, right? Let's say you want to implement uh, uh, like a scaled ReLU, right? Or say, let's say you want to implement um, leaky ReLU, right? So one way to write leaky ReLU is like this. Right, that's a leaky value. I think actually that's probably similar to the, uh, we can look at the implementation in TinyGrad and see if it matches this. Here, leaky value, all right. So did I write that right? Uh, yeah, it's the same, all right. Um, so when you write this in Torch, it's actually going to launch first a ReLU kernel then it's going to launch a multiply kernel. Then it's going to launch a ReLU kernel, right? So let's see what this is. This is ReLU uh, mul ReLU sub, right? So naively, this has to do four complete kernel dispatches, which are full loads and stores into the memory of the size of your tensor, right? And, and a lot of these tensors, like let's say your tensor is something like, um, uh, Let's 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 say it's it's uh, a million. It's six megabyte, right? Uh, sorry, it's a million a million floats. So that's four megs, right? Like that's gonna it's gonna destroy your L one. It's gonna invalidate most of your L two almost every time. I guess so. I guess it would run this in L two if it was that. But then if this is not an L two, you have to go all the way to memory for each one of these. It's gonna be horrendously slow. Now I propose you do it in registers, right? Each one of these is an element wise operation, right? This one looks like a, this is, this is still element wise, right? So it's multiplied by a constant. This is not a tensor, it's constant. Um, so this can be done in a single kernel, but the way PyTorch is designed, it can't really do that because as soon as it sees self ReLU, it's already dispatched that call. Uh, no, comma's not over guys. I. I you know, I, I hate this man. Like, like, wh why do you think that? Have I done nothing over six years to convince you that comma is a real corporation with a lot of other people working there? Are you, like, I'm the founder who probably stayed around too long, you know? Um, yeah, all right, you guys starting to get, so, so, so TinyGrad compiles this all into one kernel. And in fact, it does even better than this, right? Because most of the time, like let's say you want to put a leaky ReLU after your Comp2D, right? So you have something like, right? Something like this, right? All right, we shouldn't be using self here. But... Right? So this actually becomes five kernel dispatches, right? That can all be fused into one. This should be one kernel, right? You were hiring web people, you know? Uh, you can you, you can add the accelerator to inference and training, right? The inference memory access patterns are simpler to deal with than training ones. Um, and I fused to one via lazy evaluation, yeah. yeah. So, so this, this in TinyGrad, and this already all works today. I'm not talking about like hypothetically what could be done. I'm saying right now, if you wrote this code in TinyGrad, like, and then you wrote something like x.numpy, right? Because you fundamentally want to convert this to numpy. It's, it's, if when this is called in TinyGrad, um, this triggers all compute. Um, it, it, won't, it won't waste time doing computes that aren't on the graph uh, leading to your, your final thing. But unlike having an explicit representation of a graph that the user can access, you can't tell the difference, right? As a user, you don't care at all if the compute happens here or if the compute happens as you go. In fact, with GPUs, it already almost is delayed, right? Because what this will do in PyTorch for a GPU is this will call basically CLN current. Uh, you know, the Comp2D will call like, uh, you know, CUDA, uh, CUDA NQ or whatever, CUDA launch kernel, um, right? And it'll call all the CUDA launch kernels, but these are all non-blocking, right? Uh, so it's not until you call CUDA finish 
uh, that this is blocking. Sorry, close my parentheses. All right. So why does it matter if these CUDA launch kernels are called like in 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 PyTorch? When you call x.numpy, you're here. But in TinyGrad, you're still here. When you call x.numpy. Uh, TinyGrid will also have better precision too, yeah, because if, I mean, if you're doing, it'll only have better precision if you're doing stuff like uh, where your storage is float 16 um, and where your uh, compute is float 32, where your registers are float 32, by keeping this all in registers, it'll have better precision, yeah. Uh, it, Jax does similar stuff to this. The problem is Jax is built on this incredibly complicated architecture, uh, you know, like look at how many XLA ops there are. So many. Um, but this is Google. I mean, what do you expect? Google's a bloated organization. They write bloated code. Lewandowski's law. Company looks like their code base. I, by the way, I regret complicate, complimenting Kubernetes. We have way too much Kubernetes at comma. Uh, XLA is way too complex. Thank you for agreeing with me. Uh, although I, I'm surprised, like, I, I didn't know Kubernetes came from Google last stream. Uh, and I was like, you know what, actually, in retrospect, that makes a ton of sense. Why did I not know that? Um, no, TinyGrad will do the compute on xNumpy. This is where it'll dispatch everything to the GPU or order your accelerator or whatever, right? Um, DeepMind uses Jax for some things. They'll all use TinyGrad when it's better if I really work on this. Uh, but yeah, so I'm thinking about working on this full time for, for a bit. Everything must use Kubernetes. Uh, okay. So where are we? with trying to understand. I put this edge TPU X-ray stuff in a different repo. And then I just hand coded all of this. Season. So send just finds this in the thing and sends it. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, will I do that pull request for releases of TinyGrad? Not yet. That stuff's kind of annoying. Uh, I realize like I don't really want to maintain it on PyPy. If you want to install it, just do this. Um, you're better off installing it like this. When, when it's at like 1.0, we'll do a release. Um, now, which will get to 1.0 first? Will it be TinyGrad or will it be OpenPilot? Like my goals of TinyGrad 1.0 is I want to be at least, um, I want to be at least 2x faster than PyTorch on most models on NVIDIA. Does this mean I'm going to be streaming more? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how much of this I'm going to stream. I, I kind of wanted to just talk today because, like, people are, you know, I hate reading that shit. Like, the Verge article, it's, like, practically a hit piece, man. Like, I just hate reading that shit. Well, Colin's going to shut down. Colin needs money. Like, no, it doesn't, guys. You know, but that's the thing. I mean, that's the problem with the media, right? Like, you're only going to, and the media, social media, it's all the same problem. Like, you're, you're only going to want to read the sensational shit, right? And, look, I'm, I kind of, like, I feel bad. I feel bad about what I'm not good at, you know? Um, what's MetaSeq? No, I look, I even said, I told the guy, I told the Verge guy, I'm like, yo, call me. Like, what you're saying is not true. They don't care. He, didn't, didn't, he did not call me. And I will, uh, well, let's just confirm that fact that I still have not received a call. Uh, nope, I did not receive a call. 
Right. I told him to call me. I gave him my phone number. Um, oh. Oh. Um, okay. Okay. We have a, we have another journalist reaching out. Um, wait. Uh, to chat. I, I might have to go. Uh. Please don't leave comment AI. Yeah, you're so smart and doing great things. In the end, what do you want though? What is your next project? Um, oh yeah, no, uh, I got to reach out this morning from, uh, we'll say it, we'll say it. I, I got to reach out this morning from someone at NVIDIA. Uh, I mean, if NVIDIA wants to sponsor TinyGrad, I'm down, right? Like, I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, Uh, or no, again, I'm, I'm, I'm in talks with uh, an unnamed company uh, to get a, to, to, to contract to port TinyGrad to uh, their stuff. Um, AMD, hey, look, if AMD wants to reach out, look, I'm not going to go reach out. I'm not going to shill for myself. I'm like, yo, if someone with authority wants to get on the phone with me, like, I'm interested. But otherwise, like... I'm not, I'm not pitching you, man. Like, this is my pitch. You watch this video, right? Like, here's my pitch. Here's what TinyGrad does. Read the code. Uh, you know, it's got, it's got, it's got 7,100 stars. Uh, by the way, everybody go star TinyGrad right now. Click the star. Click the star. Come on, support the Tiny Corporation. Star TinyGrad. Good. TinyGrad has no gravitas. Good. I don't want gravitas. I don't want hype. No fucking hype for the Tiny Corporation. Um, why is tiny grad so attractive to, to companies? Because I mean, look, it's like what I was saying about the programming languages, right? Like before we like made good programming languages, we, you know what, look, I'm even going to say like languages like Rust and stuff and languages like Go, they, they've come so far. They're, they're so much better to program in than languages like COBOL, Fortran, Pascal, Basic, right? These languages of the past. Um, that people are kind of stumbling around in the dark. So I'm hoping that like, you know, a tiny grad can be the next one of these. Right? Like, like, cool, we went through this phase, you know, you know people, people don't remember there was this phase, you know, there was, there was a big one called Theano, right? Who remembers Theano? Come on, I've been around a long time, boys. Um, all right, let's do some Coral Edge TPU stuff. All right, that sounds good. Uh, hit the bathroom. Yeah, I gotta get some food. I gotta get some food. Order Uber Eats, boys! Uber Eats! I'm the problem, it's me. Oh, by the way, eating disorder. I heard that they had to remove the scale scene from the Taylor Swift anti-hero video.
Sorry, sorry. We're getting to it. We're getting to it. Long people today. Um, yeah, TechCrunch reached out. The uh, journalist who I gave my great quote to about how common eyes in North Korea are self-driving cars. My ass is H anywhere right now. Okay. So. I think the first thing we're going to have to do is start to, like, understand what is actually here. Um, does this work? Oh, I did that on my other computer that time. I couldn't get any of this shit to compile from Mac. All right, it's running. <laughs> Ish. Oh, boy. Oh, it's still, wait guys, it's busy importing TensorFlow. Wait, give it a minute. It's got to import TensorFlow. Okay. Okay, model TF Lite. No, but I still have to do something else to compile it. Do I not? Um, oh, this, oh my God, this is never gonna get built. Maybe. User Taylor Fun Edge TPO. Not here. Oh, it's supposed to be on my other computer. Well, it's good. We're going to need to download this stuff anyway. Yeah. So, you can compile the TF Lite model. All right, it's just very simple. Yeah. So now, let's see if we can compile it and get it to run on my Edge GPU, and then we can start reverse engineering the API. Um, it's a great tool for education. Yeah, I want the code to be beautiful too. It's actually more than a thousand lines right now. Um, but I think we'll get back there. The goal of the LVM backend wasn't to improve TinyGrad's performance. It's obviously going to do nothing about its performance on uh, on CPUs, on GPUs, I mean. But um, NNFS, what's this one? Am I going to see Top Girl? Oh, cool. Uh, oh yeah, I remember I just copy and pasted all the setup stuff. Uh, TSMC did not reach out. No, just NVIDIA. <laughs> To download the edge. I think all this stuff's open source though, so hopefully we'll just be able to read it. Hmm, add M1 build support. Good. 
We did all this like on an old stream. I just kind of forget how we did it. It was on my other computer too. Or actually maybe it was on, no, it was on Taylor, so. Basil. Bruins fall Basil. Oh, is this gonna turn into one of those streams where we struggle forever with uh, updates? We need TF Lite as well. TF Light, TF Light Micro, TF Light Build. Can I do this last time? Oh, where is that? Okay, make. Guys, it's compiling. It's okay. We can sit here. Do we need packages? That doesn't sound like a good number of packages if we do. Guys, we only have zero packages. Is TF Lite just part of TensorFlow? Do I just download this? Right, let's find some junk to copy and paste, okay. Um, we need TensorFlow. You guys know about that trick? Step one. All right, good. We got some stuff to copy and paste. Oh, is my computer getting slow when I... I'm compiling. Oh, it's Google. <laughs> Come on guys, this is a meme, right? Tiny grads, a thousand lines of code. All right, well, we're gonna compile. Well, wait for this to compile. Let's go to, um, let's read this code. See if there's anything useful in here, which I kind of think there isn't. Oh. Invoke. What trick? Oh, did I have a trick? Oh, okay. Oh, look, some stuff got built. Oh, well, this didn't get built. That was just CMake, guys. Ah. Oh. oh, wait. I mean, that might have just worked. I don't know. Did that just work? Um, let's go here and try build. No, of course it doesn't work. Oh, because I'm users Kafka now. I'm not Taylor anymore. I really can't code at all this. Oh, that's terrible. Still have a problem. Users Kafka fun, edge TPU, lib edge TPU. Oh, those are fine. It just didn't end up in TF Lite build. Make. Okay. Ugh. 
I don't even want to know what piano I have. Custom Optator will be serialized as a flex buffer map with the following keys. Okay. So the basic strategy is we're gonna get some simple stuff to build, and then we're gonna look at some simple things and try to reverse engineer. Guys, you know what this means though, this works, right? It means that with one click, we'll be able to run stable diffusion on the edge TPU. Like, if you get, I got paper towel. If you get tiny grad support, you get stable diffusion support. stable diffusion to work on the edge TPU yet? EXE and MSI are leaps for humanity. Ah. Guys, don't isn't it great that we're compiling all these microkernels? How much code is compiled and then never used in the world? Pour one out. <laughs> um, are there any good structs in here? I like structs that like tell me like what kind of type things are. Bro, just drag the DMG to applications. Good point. Okay, well. Do we need those anyway? Maybe we just don't need those. Clog. No lib CPU info. Oh. Lib Rui. Include edge tpu dot h file not found. Lib edge tpu tf light public. Oh. TensorFlow light context not found. Why did why did I do one of them relative and all the rest? Um, home fun edge TPO. TensorFlow light context not found. Okay. Oh, TensorFlow source. Uh, I call it TensorFlow there. Okay, let's try that. Oh, 
No member named make unique in namespaced STD. Guys, I hate shit like that. All right, what? No member named make unique in namespace STD. What? What do I have to include? What well, is a pointer, right? Um, memory. Oh, no, those can't hurt to add. No member name make unique. Fuck. I hate this. Toggle line wrapping? Yeah, what? Uh, I hate line wrapping one. Uh, no member name make unique in namespace STD. Stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. Oh. 14? Okay, okay, better. Now we just need to figure out where CPU info went. Oh, is this like not anywhere because I didn't build it? Uh, okay, depths, CPU info, build, lib CPU info. And I took it out carelessly. They just moved it. Depths, CPU info build, CPU info dot A. Hey. Okay, we gotta find clog again. I hate it. You know, you remove something. All right, what is it in depths now? Depths, CPU info build, depths, clock. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. All right, now we need to put re back in. I already did depths for that one. No, 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 no. Don't make me do this. Lib R U Y. Okay, there used to be one called R U Y dot A, and now it doesn't seem to exist anymore. Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. Great. We have to figure out which R U Y you need. Oh, create TR malls assuming. What are all these things? Like it would probably be help if, help if I like went through, you know, it's like Chester and Spence. Like I should probably understand. Did I not link to lib TensorFlow Lite? Some of this just fixed by linking to lib TensorFlow Lite. If it's not anywhere, then how do I get it? Um, sorry, I gotta make this small. I can't see. What's trying to link to this crap? Kernel 8 bit neon. 
probably Lib TensorFlow Lite. Oh, here we go. Lib Rui kernel arm. Okay, let's try that one. Yeah, I built Rui. I don't know, maybe I didn't actually. Less errors. A lot of errors still. Pack 8 bit call major for Neon. What is Rui, by the way? Can someone look it up and like paste in the link? We'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. It must be exhausting. What if I just put a star there? Cool, great, it works. Uh, it doesn't load it because I hard-coded Taylor. And we've moved on, of course, to Kafka. Mm, fun edge, oh, here. Because uh, it's in edge TPU X-ray. We're gonna have to change this anyway, this is the model path. I'll just make that a argument. Should I not? Whatever. Later problem. Rui is a multi matrix multiplication library. This is not an officially supported Google product. Oh no, I'm gonna call up Google's tech support and complain. I thought this was officially supported. See, it's not as fast as completely specialized code for each shape. Well, that's what uh, that's what uh, Tiny Grad does. We recompile uh, for each thing. Yeah, at least it's on GitHub. No, no, I'm not trying to hit on Google for this. Okay, we're getting a bus error ten. No, oh, guys. Mm, model loaded. Okay. It's failing on did boilerplate. Oops. Okay, the problem is where we add the interpreter builder. Uh, oh, there's a chance that this just doesn't work. No. Built-in op resolver, flat buffer model. We're opening the TPU contacts with the edge TPU. That seems fine. Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to deal with this? I need a spoon to eat the rest of my salsa and chips. Can someone figure out why it's crashing? Let's print those pointers. See if they're pointy. Some pointers are not pointy. Some pointers are zero. See if the pointers are pointing. Uh, okay.
Mm. Blow it the USB. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I could try unplugging and plugging it back in. Did I get this error last time? Oh, same bus error. Maybe it's like an old version. Let's just try this. It's a model we wanted to run anyway. Mm. Okay. Um, assertion failed, input equals null. Oh, that's just because I didn't give it up. That's actually also not what we want here. Um, that's, like I said, it's this model here. And this model here only has an input shape of one. Um, assertion failed, input equals, it doesn't even go there, but it's probably not even what we want. Oh, that's what read does. Serving default dense input. Uh, oh, it's because the input type tensor is not that. Load banana. Uh, I think it's because the input type tensor is a float in this case. Let me just say like input dot one equals like one three three seven. Did I guess right? Come on, Google. Uh, I don't know. Well, we want to keep that asserting, but why doesn't that work? Also, hang on. We may just not care. Don't why it's not printing for that stuff either. Did not actually run the model. Oh, this crap like may not be quantized for the edge TPU. Okay, actually, I think I did that. Because if we go back here, I'll just run compile again. I don't know why I never got my custom models to compile. Yeah, input inference type int eight. Oh, maybe because it's an int eight? I don't think it's this, but anything's possible at ZomboCon. Okay, well, that worked. It's because it's an int date, not a U int date, boys. Come 
I think Holden Null is kind of redundant. Guys, it outputs six. And if you're not happy about six, well, you got the wrong thing. <laughs> Let's put a different number in. Let's try putting in 10. Hmm? Ooh, 15, ooh. <laughs> No, guys, 666 doesn't fit. 42 does, though. Um, just commit that. Running custom model. I worry that it's not actually running it on the edge TPO. Uh, You guys remember all the uh, remember all the uh, the the, the uh, lives we saved when we changed master to main. Saved a lot of lives, boys. Should be proud of ourselves. Uh, okay, question: Is this thing actually using the edge TPU? Okay, watch. We're gonna try some. I'm gonna unplug it. Now, does it still work? Man, if it still gives me 15. Why did I buy this thing? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What the hell? I spent all this money on this thing and it still gives me 15 when I unplug it. <laughs> wait, no, we got scammed, boys. We got scammed. <laughs> uh wait no but no, 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 no okay so something's wrong is this why this didn't work great No, I feel like we have to compile it for the Edge TPU. Oh, here we go. Oh, I remember this garbage. Did this get open sourced? What? Oh, this is what I had to run in Linux or something. No. Uh, I, I'll have to go uh, in a minute. I'm getting a call. Uh, TF Lite to Edge TPO. Oh, it requires uint8. Well, we'll start with that as a problem. Yes, uint8. And then we won't have that other bug before.
Why not target the neural engine? Don't talk to me about the neural engine. I wasted a ton of time. Like you, you just you can't even get. Uh, Apple added so much security, and like you disable Amphi, and then it's just too much work. You, you, there's security on your own computer. You have to basically jailbreak your Mac, and I don't do jailbreaking anymore. Uh, okay. Well, that still didn't make it run, but that's a good start. TinyGrad sponsored by Apple? If they're interested, like I said, anyone who wants to reach out to me, I'm interested. Uh, yeah, okay, this isn't gonna work until we get the Edge TPU compiler to work. I remember wasting time with this last time. I mean, we could just go for it, right? We ready to just start reverse engineering this? Like we know what the net is, right? Okay, we can try a different approach. There's another approach we can take, which is that we already have, which is that we already have everything we need because this legitimately runs. Watch, I will prove to you that it runs on the Edge TPU because if we unplug it, you need to buy Google Coral and free banana for you. Man, I love older me. I love younger me, leaving me funny shit like that. Yo, younger me, you cool. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, I swear it uses the Google Coral. Um, I, I mean, like, we might probably have everything we need here to reverse engineer. Shout out younger me. All right, uh, what's a TF light file? Python open TF light file. You can use the TensorFlow light Python interpreter. Okay, let's try it. Mm, we'll call it parse. I love the generic names that I'm giving to things. Uh, come on, tab complete. No, fine, don't tab complete. I don't want to use a fancy editor. You know, I figure fancy editors could do things like that. Not make me go all the way over there. You know? Oh, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, okay, we can get input details and output details. Why don't you use the? All right. That seems like something. Uh, test model on random input data. Okay, let's try that. We'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. Cannot set tensor. Tensor is unallocated. Hmm, encountered unresolved custom op. Edge TPU custom op. Oh, well that's exciting. Oh, and actually I think we have documentation on that. Because I've seen that before. If we go into lib edge TPU. Because right? that custom op is that thing that we register here. No, it's not that it needs, the problem was not that. The problem is literally that there's a file that's signed with a restricted entitlement. Um, the stupid library is signed with a restricted entitlement. Uh, and uh, yo, retire in progress, what up? Uh, I don't know your stream, but thank you for the raid. Uh, we got some new people in here. Hi, my name is George. Um, I uh, am 33 year old man. 
Uh, I program, if you don't know me. Uh, today we bought one of these things. Well, actually, we bought it a while ago, so it's a lie. I don't think I bought it just for the stream. I did buy a TV. Ne never mind. That's too far off topic. You guys are new people. This is a Google Coral, and we're trying to write our own driver for it. Uh, so we have a driver that actually works, um, but it only runs one model. You'll see that right here, it can tell you that a picture of a banana is of a banana. And if you have your own Google Coral, and you run this, and you change this from a picture of not a banana, to a different picture, it might tell you it's something else. Uh, so now what we're trying to do is, yeah, um, we are trying to dissect the file that I downloaded because the compiler only runs on Linux and we don't have a Linux computer, we're here on a Mac. Uh, so yeah, we're trying to dissect this file and see what's in it. Of course, every time we run this, it takes three seconds because we have to wait for TensorFlow to import. And that's part of the reason we're writing TinyGrad, which you gotta go back earlier in the stream if you wanna understand what it is. Uh, get input details, blah, 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 blah. TF Lite interpreter. How do I like go through all the thing? Oh, I guess I could register the custom op. I guess I could use the, I wonder if this works. Okay, let's read this code here in edgetpu, edgetpu here, for register custom op. Okay, so this is what's being called, custom course. It returns some fancy structs. Create a new operator, downcast from two. Custom op, prepare data direct. Find this custom op with a particular driver. Who writes code like this? I remember being mad last time I was reading this too. Get draw. Oh, and that's why it didn't do anything when I uh, ran the thing, because because it didn't have any custom ops. All right, let's just see if we can parse this. A TF light file. Um, you can use the TF light. Set tensor, invoke. We want to be able to like just iterate through the model and I want to like see all the operations. Can I do that? Get op details. I don't like that it has an underscore in front of it. Take some parameter. Requires a depth. Get input details, get signature list, get tensor details. I don't know, what if I just do get tensor details? Is that anything? Input. No, that's just the inputs and outputs. Get signature list? What's a signature list? Why do you do this in your notebook so you don't have to restart it every time? Yeah, that sounds smart. Um, we don't have any signatures. All right, let's just read this code. Oh, how, does anyone, how does anyone code any of this? My eyes just hurt looking at it. I can like register custom op, get op details. Get a dictionary with arrays of IDs. Oh, gets ops details. All right, let's try that one. That one looks, that one looks like it's good. Uh, for X. Okay, great. 
uh, it has a single operation that is an edge TPU custom op, and it takes as an input uh, tensor one and an output tensor zero. Great. Okay, well, don't you just love to see that? Uh, no, I, I don't think it's actually gonna show me anything more than this, All right? self.interpreter. Okay, well, there's a secret interpreter underneath the interpreter. We'll call it real interpreter. We'll call it RI. Nope, not self. Runtime error. There is at least one reference to internal data structure in terms of a NumPy array or slice. Okay. Proprietary mull ads, secret Google only mull ads, you know? Um, from an interpreter wrapper. Okay. Node name, node inputs. Node inputs. There's gonna be like no data or something. Let's just test this, make sure this works. Okay. Node name is edge TPU custom op. Well, that's just the name of the node. That's not really anything about the node. There's only one of them. Okay. Inside of an edge TPU, we have one op and it's an edge TPU custom op. Don't, don't you love that? So in other words, this whole like format is just Google, like why did you, I guess it has tensors, so. Google <laughs> writes 100,000 lines of boilerplate, uses 100 of them, and makes you compile 100,000. Here we go. Okay. Set num thread. This looks like junk. Modify graph with delicate. Returns a pointer to the underlying interpreter. Oh, that's just for passing into things. Hmm. This is terrible. Uh, okay. Well, what kind of file is it? What is a TF Lite file? Knowing Google, I'm sure it's a protobuf. Edge TPU custom op. Exported from subgraph. Yeah, here we go. All right, maybe we should try to figure out why this one didn't work.
Get an error. What if I don't resolve a custom op? Do I have like a version mismatch? Yeah, probably have like a version mismatch or something. Error, encountered unregistered custom op. Okay, so now I try to register the custom op, but then my interpreter builder crashes, which makes me think I have like the wrong version of edge TPU or something. Could get like a release of this, tags. Okay, you want grouper? Let's try grouper. Complete successfully. Make. Doesn't work. Is this like not linking to the right? I feel like it's like not linking to the right TensorFlow or something. Did I have this problem before? Is this building all of TensorFlow? Oh, you tried you tried Netron? What do you got? Just like stupid custom op? Yeah, edge TPU custom op. Gotta love it. Great. That's pretty much what I found. It does give you the quantization, which is cool though. Thank you. All right, we're still getting a bus error here. It's not... Did I just not, do I have to like, I think I have to use a special version. This is, actually wait. Is there just something I can link to that's just here? That'd be cool. And I didn't have to link to that. I feel like I feel like there's just a version mismatch. Like that's all fine, but Maybe the interpreter builder crashes because like there's something wrong with the uh... <laughs> edge TPU. Let's try that. No, you have to add the op first. If you do add the op, it crashes. Ah. We have to build with, uh, here it is. Um, did mean XDF. TF root equals dot dot slash the TF light build make let's hope this doesn't try to rebuild TensorFlow light because I feel like the uh, if the problem is it like linked to some custom version which has different uh, struct alignment, so that's why I'm getting that bus error. That's my guess. I have no idea if that TF root actually, oh, no, okay, I think I specified the wrong thing. I'll just give it a try, but 
I'm just gonna do the same. Right, the same. Uh, get clean xdf, make clean. It's because tf root is actually dot dot slash tensorflow source. Everybody's gonna give me some feedback if that like did anything. See if that's actually like the right thing. It's definitely in there. Work. No, same issue. Um, what happened when I loaded this in uh, LDB? I know a lot more about the error now. Subgraph add node with parameters. Yeah, so just like, maybe we have to try an older version of TensorFlow. I bet you that's it. This is to say which TensorFlow version it uses. That means we have to rebuild TensorFlow, guys. Ugh. And then we probably have to change the bullshit back. Oh, I can't tolerate this. I can't tolerate this. If you're using, oh, and I cloned it with, reference is not a tree, yeah. Great. All right, you ready to clone all of TensorFlow? Um, get clone. You ready to do this again? I feel like I probably did the exact same thing before on, on, uh, oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, please waste 20 minutes of my life. Thank you. Thank you for wasting 20 minutes of my life. I feel like I did the exact same thing before. Well, it only works with TensorFlow now, but soon it's going to work with TinyGraph. Oh, is my forever get clone finished? Nope. Oh, this is the Pi Coral API. Wait, what? Is this a different thing? I remember struggling with this last time too. Oh, all right. I'll be back guys. Give me, uh, give me 15 minutes. I'll come back on stream.
All right, what up, fam? Uh, all right, we just had a, had a nice conversation. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm just dealing with spoke with TechCrunch. No, 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 no scummy reporter. No, uh, spoke with Kirsten Korosak from TechCrunch. She's very nice. Um, pretty much meet Harold and Alex. They've pretty much been running the company for the last year, and know more about the consumer product vision than I do. Make sure I didn't write typos. Don't think I want his name wrong. Ah, we're good. Mm, all right. Hold up. Uh, sorry, I didn't even get TensorFlow to build. We were close, but I had to go. I didn't want to. I don't want to be rude on the phone. Uh, what the fuck, man. Why don't you contain shit? Uh. Contain something. Did like the directions change here? Build Coral. Check out TensorFlow. The source directory does not appear to contain CMakeList. Build. Oh, do I have to use Basil? Oh, I probably have to use Basil. Building TF light. Oh, talking to a journalist is exhausting. Here's Basil. EF light runtime. Okay. To build. Natively. The project you're trying to build requires a different basil. Okay. Let's go to edge TPU and let's check out this TensorFlow. You think this TensorFlow is going to work? Let's try this TensorFlow. Yeah, why no app get installed? Wouldn't that be nice?
Yo, not all journalists, guys. Not all journalists. Come on, C-Make. Oh, C-Make, good. You make have P thread. Jesse buy nothing. Go to prom anyway. Yeah, Jesse, my boy. Uh, we got to throw some J's on that bitch? Alright, we'll throw some J's on that bitch. That's gonna lag the stream. Alright, after all this, who thinks it's gonna work? We're getting back to where we were in the last stream. This whole stream's just going back to where we were in the last stream. Yo M! Yo M! You spent this whole album yelling at everybody who said that your last album sucked. So what are you going to do if this album sucks? You're going to spend your next album yelling at everybody who I just don't think this is sustainable. Uh, you know, part of me, part of me feels bad about the whole comma thing. Like, I wish I was just better at this stuff, you know? I'm like sending the journalists along to Harold and Alex. We'll see how they do. You know, something broken in my brain, guys. <sighs> Come on, work. Oh, no, this doesn't... Oh, we'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. It must be exhausting always. Wow, that's hard to sing. Gotta yell because stereo volume is slow. Low. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. Okay. works. Okay, now we get a different error. All right, we're past the first error. Let's try and plug it, plug it back in. Uh, okay, still broken. Oh, I bet now, no, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, it's fine. Ah, uh, we just need to do, if we do a cert F here, that just was why. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um,
sounds like I gotta go back to LA. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, wait, what? Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna wig at it. Just gonna wig at it, boys. I don't know why I just didn't wig at it to begin with. What is it trying to load? Banana dot dat? Hmm, banana dot dat, okay. Uh, read. Should I feel bad for committing the banana? Wait, what? Why is there an assertion there? Oh, it's in data. Did I put it in data? Put it in data. Did I go to data? Data. Data in my git ignore or something? Data should be in the get ignore. Okay. Now, I'm gonna unplug this and we're gonna see if it works. Yeah, look, it doesn't work now. That's right, that's right. Cause it failed to retrieve the TPU context. Um, running with old school. Version. Yeah, I don't you wish I don't you wish I labeled that before? We'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. It must be exhausting, always rooting for the end. Yeah, look, we wrote docs. This parse is garbage. Yeah, we'll just commit it. It's not too much garbage. Okay, uh, let's get check out, get ignore. Going to LA? We're going to some parties in LA? Maybe she goes to parties in LA. What do you think? Okay. Now, another question. Why did this not work? Whatever. I don't really care that much about this because what I really wanted to do was not even to sniff the USBs. We can sniff the USBs again elsewhere. What I really wanted to do was modify. Uh, not TF light, but I wanted to modify libedge TPU. I just built that one with make. Oh, Put some J's on that bitch. We going to LA? Should we drive to LA? I gotta get a car. Should I buy a Porsche? Wait, 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 let's check out a Porsche. Let's. I'm thinking of buying a Porsche. Watch, I built this now it like broke or something. I wanna I wanna boxster uh seven eighteen. Yeah, the lags during compilation. What do you think of this? Oh, this one's new. That looks pretty good, man. 
That's the GTS. Oh, it's automatic though. I don't want an automatic. If I'm gonna buy a Porsche, you know. Let's see, let's go. Let's go far. Ooh. Beverly Hills Porsche, eh? What do you say? We take the train to LA and we drive back in a Porsche? Such bad reviews. Wait, I'm kind of really feeling that. I'm kind of really feeling that. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Will I be happy in my midlife crisis if I buy a Porsche? I don't need the S series, man. I don't want to get speeding tickets. I'm happy in something that's low and zippy. Future you's gonna buy it? All right, let's go to Beverly Hills, boys. That car is sick, right? I think it's beautiful. Look, look, you hate, oh, come on, the boxer's not a real Porsche, man. You know, be a buy a real man Porsche. I, don't, I want a Boxster, okay? And fuck off if you don't like my Boxster, right? Oh, I love that color, too. Oh, that gray, oh, that looks good. I just hope it's real. Wait, let's see, do they have the VIN here? Yeah, let's take a look. All right, no, now I'm gonna find out someone crashed it. Uh, they're gonna make me pay, aren't they? I just wanted to paste the VIN, get Carfax reports. Yeah, VIN, all right, let's go. Oh, come on, come on. Eight history records. Come on, tell me, did it crash? Oh, I'll pay that. Does anyone have a subscription to Carfax and just wants to do that search for me? Wait, no, it's not red, is it? I want a red one. Bitches like Teslas, yo fuck bitches like Teslas, fuck bitches, man. I'm not gonna let know what cars women like decide what cars I like. You can't start letting women run your life, boys. Uh, if bitches don't like my Porsche, that's a bitches problem. I'm not getting a Platinum, I don't want a Tesla, all right? I honestly, I don't think they're that nice of cars. All right, but we're not We're not doing, we're, we're working. We're working, we can talk about my midlife crisis later. All right, let's put some prints in custom op invoke. Um, custom op data direct, user data. Oh, I gotta put an F on that print. Should I buy a Porsche, boys? Are we buying a Porsche? Being harassed by some uh, some some lawyer shit. I see custom op invoked there. Uh, misclassified pay. It's unbelievable, man. I'm not, I don't like electric cars, boys. I don't like electric cars. I like polluting the environment right up until they make it illegal. Uh, buy a Lambo? Should I buy a Lambo? Which Lambo should I buy? Now, now we're talking. Now we're talking. What Lambo do I want? No, oh, no, oh, they're so low to the ground. Oh. Look, look, I just, I just see this bottoming out. I see this bottoming out and me like pulling into some driveway and fucking up the bottom of my car and then being upset. Now I heard the Taycan's actually pretty good, but I don't want an electric car. You know why? Because I can go, 
You know, man, the electric cars are just so the government. Someone's going to clip this. Someone's going to clip this and take it out of context. This is why we don't allow clips, man. But So we're going to do it. Man, you know, the electric cars, man, they're just they're just for the government to, to, to be able to track you and know that, you know, you can't get away, man, because your range is only 300 miles and they're going to turn the grid off. You see me, I got I got my truck with, with, with jerry cans all in the back and the, that's how the government can't control you, man. First it's an electric car and then it's a chip in your brain and then they're fucking your wife, man. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, 500 miles, bro. That's going to get you all the way to like San Francisco, maybe. <laughs> uh, I notice how it printed. doesn't even do anything. This is the most useless one. This doesn't even do anything. Get driver mapper. Invoke executable. Okay. Here's the node. User data. Custom op user data direct. Executable non-input layers. Attach inputs to the request. Attach outputs to the request. Relay out. Oh, here we go. Driver execute. Submit. All right, so you see we're modifying the TPU driver so we can try to figure out if this can be parsed at all. So it's not just a binary blob. I mean, it probably can because it's actually submitting those things. Forget the car, just sell out and get a job at a quant firm. Bros, oh, I'm done being a bitch to ambition, I'm already rich. Oh, I gotta do printf. Some crypto guy was, uh, Nikolai, dead, sad. Is this C? No, you're C. Have I been in a plaid? No, to be fair, I haven't been in a plaid, but, um, what I will say is, my experience with Tesla is I've been in a three and an S and you know, they're just not, they're not like refined cars. Yeah. Okay. This API request. Oh, here we go. Add input, add output. Okay, great. Useless. Um, where is this execute function? Hit this. Submit. What's trace scope? Trace scope critical. You know, George, why don't you learn to use a debugger and not just put print statements everywhere? Well, shit, man. If I had that kind of patience, I, you know, I'd still be running comma. Um, inside materials and soundproofing have been increased massively in the flat. Yeah, but I mean, look, this still doesn't solve the problem. Does it have a gasoline engine? And it's not that, look, there are benefits to electric cars, but you can't take them on road trips. Like, you want to sit at a supercharger for 30 minutes? You ever done this? You're like, oh, it won't be so bad. It's only 30 minutes. And then you're actually sitting there for 30 minutes in a supercharger. And you're like, 
damn, you know, I had an option in cars and I could have bought a gasoline car. When they make a car that charges in five minutes, I'm interested. When there's an electric car that charges in five minutes, I will consider an electric car. Okay, we've made it to driver submit. Quests get priority. Okay, submit inference request. Do create request. Prepare TPU request. Oh yeah, what's a TPU request? What's the type of this? Uh, platforms, Darwin TPU request. I have an idea that's a different Darwin. Okay, TPU request. MMIO driver do submit. We have to validate and prepare the request. And then the DMA scheduler comes in. What's a DMA schedule? Disable clock gating so the chip is accessible while the request is built. Try issue DMAs. Try issue DMAs. All right, All right let's just read. Let's just read this drive for a little bit. Okay. Driver. And we'll just guess at where it is and then we'll see if we made it there. Oh, they have a battery swap. Great, I gotta show up to one of the three places that's still open so some guy can unscrew my battery. And... Yo, gasoline cars, boys. Gasoline cars. Look. I'm not trying to hate on like all the hippies. I love hippies, man. We love hippies. Y'all know we're progressive, but gasoline car. George doesn't like remote work and wants to drive in a gasoline car. He's so backwards. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think Lambo's a little cliche and really impractical. I think my Porsche Boxster, assuming it didn't uh, get into an accident, will be a great choice. Okay. What's a single TPU request? You know what? What's vlog? Let's just turn the vlog on. How do I turn vlog on? Get logging level. Set logging level. Where do I set the log level? Four. That sounds like a good log level. What do y'all think? What about a Ferrari? What Ferrari? Again, no, remote work's a bad idea, guys. You know, and, and the real problem, people, I, you probably can't see me right now because it's compiling. Um, what kind of culture do you build at a remote organization? Come on. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at all that. Oh man, so happy we didn't waste lots of time. All right, let's take out all those stupid print statements. I don't even need any of them. Yeah, whatever, they don't have to do one. Okay. Adding input, mapped scratch, linking parameter. Uh, okay. How come my things are not intercepting the USB calls correctly? I run dial at force flat name state. It uses libUSB, right? Or does it use the... No, it uses libUSB. Can you put comma on a Ferrari? I could put hamsters on a piano, bro. Um, okay. What are those transfers? Yeah, let's just put some. In C send. LL send. Dev dot right. Okay, so that's just a uh, it's a bulk out transfer. 
Oh wait, if we just set vlog to ten. Whoa, we just didn't say we just didn't put enough vlog in here. Two fifty five. That's good. Can't have more than two fifty five. That's wait, that's more log than anyone would need. Who and why wants to build culture at work? And see, that is exactly why I don't want any remote employees. You know, because you people have this, oh, well, work is just this thing you do, and then you have life. You hedonistic piece of shit, man. You know, life is work. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, this is almost too much. Ten. Things more than 10. Of course, Google would have an insanely verbose. I, I should have just thought about that first. Um, prepare header USB M1 commands. Oh, USB ML commands. That makes more sense. At least hedonists are honest. Yeah, you know what? You're getting close to God that way. Control P. How do I do? How do I open? What is it? Open. I want to like open a file. What's the? What's the? Oh yeah, those are read register. Command P, I was dressing that. Oh, command P, thank you. Where do they like list all the commands? Prepare header. Are those the same headers that I have here? No, they're actually in the file. This stuff's actually in the file. Um, life is work. This guy knows what's up. Prepare header, async, bulk out, transfer. Things to be negated. How does any of this code work?
Alex sent a nice message back to the uh, reporter. Right? See, that's you got to hand off. You got to hand off the world building. You know, you want to hand off a company. You got to hand off the world building. Like what? 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 what you got a commies? You got to name the people something like Tweeps. You know, Tweeps, man. How about Tweeps, man? I learned that in Management 101 at Twitter. Uh, what advice would I give? You know what? Would you guys pay if I did private private advice sessions? Hundred dollars for thirty minutes. If I did, if I did private, or what do they do? A hundred dollars for fifteen minutes? What are the ones like you like talk to the people? Do you want advice? Yeah, I gotta monetize advice. Guys, I gotta afford my Porsche. What are these registers? And I, I remember this from last time too. It's like great. Oh, oh, they're Beagle APR Apex CSR offsets. Great. Okay. I'd pay for you to shit all over me. Yeah, bro. It's called Findom, bro. You're all my pay pigs. Give me money. I wonder if that actually ever works. It's probably like one girl out there I work for. <laughs> what could the questions be about? I don't know, man. Yeah, anything you want. Oh, these are the names of the things. Bro, you went to RIT. How could you not afford your Porsche? <laughs> uh, freestyle by session. All right, we'll do. No, but see, the thing is, I want to see you, and I don't know how to set any of that up. Right. If someone like posts a Zoom link, no, nah, but it was awkward when I did these calls in front of people before. It's awkward, you know, because then you get like is what parasocial activity. Oh, this is a lot of stuff. All right, I think a lot of these things are uh, are registers, and like I looked into them briefly. Do these numbers match those? Yeah, yeah, these are the registers. Okay, okay, cool. Um, is that one not in here? The first one I searched for is not in here? Oh, no, here. This is SCU control. Should I write something to parse this and then print out what these things are? Yeah, there's enough of them. It's probably worth it. Eagle CSR offsets. Okay, it's probably worth parsing. All right. Um, Eagle. Wow, Wikipedia's gotta be wondering why I'm downloading that banana so many times. All right, we gotta convert those numbers into names. Let's go. Do they all have the word no lint in them? That would help. Yeah, they do. Okay. Uh, X for X and if X if no 
no lint in X. Okay. Um, um, let's not do X in. Let's do. Wait, what? What? How did that seg fault? I don't even want to talk about that. Um, x four x in if. X dot split. Oh, you gotta love the one liners, boys. Gotta love the one liners. Strip dot split. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Um. Where do we use this thing? Setup? We're printing that somewhere. Uh, we do want to also say right equals um, int x comma 16. Let's do a dictionary comprehension. x comma y in regs. Good. Uh, dev control transfer. Oh, here we go. Setup. Hex regnum. Uh, reg sub regnum. Is that just going to work? Sub regnum if uh, regnum in regs else. Unknown. All right. This is what we're setting up now. We know. All right. It's ever there. We don't know. Look, we set up the int controls, the Rimbus controls. Do I feel liberated by leaving comma? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Like you know, I'm still gonna be involved, but when you were young, what do you want your life to be? And are you happy? I guess I'm pretty happy. I don't know. I mean, damn corporations don't accept hacky code. No, of course not. I mean, you should. I don't really accept hacking code either. Like, when you look at like Tiny Grad, it's like good. It's not. Wait, what? Oh. For some reason, that one didn't get. My things wrong. Oh, just because it has a comma there. Um. Yeah. Okay. We'll just do this. That should be good. And here we can say strip comma. That should work. Invalid literal. Oh, I guess strip space as well. Okay. Did we get them all? Good, we got them all. All right, let's just get rid of that. Just so we don't uh, let's get rid of that unknown thing. It was masking a bug. Corporations don't like hacky code. happy with the progress it's just guys like we want to ship a hundred thousand of these things and it turns out shipping a hundred thousand of something requires lots and lots of bullshit uh like who wants to deal with the supply chain to buy a hundred thousand parts right and there's that whole aspect to it and then there's a whole aspect to it of like well shipping the models becomes really hard you know you just have to do a lot of testing you're pushing on the last couple of nines you know real engineering right like there's hacky code there's not hacky code and then there's like serious engineering efforts and george hotz i'm not a serious engineer I make the hackiness people so happy you know
Um, no comma that? I, no comma con? Bro, the company's not me, okay? Like, they might have a comma con. I don't know. The company's, like, I think 23 people work there now, you know? Um, hate when people think it's me, man. George left comma con. He's on the downfall. I do think Kanye took it a little far, but you know, like, let yay be yay, man. Let yay be yay. Call out the registers by name. Okay. So now, We send these two things, and then we send all these things, and one of them is the image pixels. Let's figure out how to parse these things. Getting first response. Wait, sending minus one? That doesn't seem right. Does that one not do anything? Where is that one? Oh. Oh, okay, it's all send because yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the user data. That's the image pixels that we send. Literally just the image pixels, so there's nothing special there. Uh, it does look a little weird though. Oh no, because that's not actually the data. Um, let's actually dump some data. I had that in there coming out for some reason. Oh. Um. Yeah, I thought Lex did a great job of uh, of talking to Kanye. So this is what's being sent. I don't know what this num is. And these are like to like ports. This like sets up a program. So the way that I wrote this last time, this is actually, I did this on stream and you can go read it. Uh, the way that I did this last time is I just wrote, um, I just basically wrote a Python program to mimic what the C program was doing, and it worked. So, like, I'm trying to figure out. I don't really know how deep, uh, like, this driver even goes. The all the good stuff may be in the edge TPU compiler. 
uh, which we can look at, but the 40 is not much. Okay, num0 starts with 80, OF, okay. So num0 seems to always start with that. Oh, and I see this header is just, this is just the length and the, that's stupid. That's the length and that's the num. Um, we specify the num here. So it like loads into like buffer zero, buffer two, buffer zero, buffer two. So those probably actually mean something. And we can probably find out what it is. Uh, so we can see send, I'll send here, num is here, uh, header. Oh, you like write, okay, it writes to endpoint one the header and then it writes the data. Here, prepare header. Maybe this is it. Header hex. Are those the same headers? doing read registers too. Oh, some of these are read registers. I see. And I just ignore them. Or do I just do writes anyway? It doesn't matter. Maybe I do it the right way. Maybe I should do reads. I, I don't think it's an IP. I don't know if I have anything. Yeah, yeah, no, I watched half the Carpathy one. I gotta finish it, it's long. I listened to the Kanye one when I was driving. Prepare header. Yeah, okay, so these are the headers, right? I think we can actually find B121. I think we can find that. Yeah, it's down here. Okay, good. Prepare header. DMA chonker. Oh, excuse me, DMA chonker. Descriptor tag. Okay, it's this, it's this descriptor tag. Ah, here we go. Instructions, activations, parameters. All right, good, 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 good. Um, so we can just write that. Guys, we're reverse engineering. We're reverse engineering. called descriptor tag wow this is before I started using format strings everywhere I can't believe I ever wrote things like that you gotta use the F strings the F strings are so much nicer so now we're sending parameters, instruct, uh, instructions, parameters, instructions, input activation, parameters, instructions, parameters, instructions, parameters. Great. Um, I assume actually the read is, no, it's actually different endpoints. Okay, cool. Guys, I don't really have anything to say, you know? I'm washed up, right? I can talk about it. I'm interested in the chips, all right? Like there's some good progress to be made on the chips. I'll be happy if I get this contract.
uh, with the current globalization, homogenation, and zeitgeist, most people have a proclivity for minimizing their agency in a world that is diametrically opposed to human nature. Uh, look, I mean, with a lot of this stuff, uh, what I kind of read there is blame for somebody. And like, who do you really blame, right? Like, it's not, it's not somebody doing it. It's just kind of the nature of the problems. Uh, and kind of the nature of the way we structured society, right? Um, I love when people like uh, Robin Hanson, like people like, like you someone say like, we need to structure a society in a new way that's not capitalism. And Robin Hanson says, oh, well, this is fine, but okay, like let's talk about the economics of that society. And they're like, but, but we don't have economics. And then... No, nah, but you have economics. You just don't always know what your economics are. Um, all right, so like, like you're, you're, you're subject to the constraints of economics regardless of what you do. No, I, again, I don't really see it like that. I, I think it's a lot more... You know, the kind of stuff that happens to, to me here is just maybe, like, you just see that I'm a lot more public with it. Uh, I think a lot of people, this kind of stuff happens to, and you just don't really hear about it. You don't really hear about a lot of uh, startup founders and, like, what sort of happens. You kind of do, but they try to generally, like, people will try really hard to paint themselves in, like, a nice light. Uh, and, and I don't know. I mean, I don't really have the patience for that. Like, I'll do a little bit, but not not like majorly. But there's no way I could get on this stream and talk for hours and like lie to you. Uh, that's probably true about everybody who streams, and maybe that's why it's popular. Um, you know. All right, we got registers, we got the names of the stuff. So we have K instructions and K parameters. All right, I bet the interesting stuff's gonna be in instructions. That's a lot of instructions. That's a lot of instructions. So like for the real, for the big TPUs, um, they have almost nothing, uh, like the, the actual TPU hardware is very uh, simple. I, uh, I'm not happy about this. I feel like we're gonna have to go to Edge TPU compiler. They didn't open source it ever, did they? Like all the magic's in this thing. Of Docker. Mendel development tool. This looks like crappy ADB. Having kids changes the motivation to your brain. Look, I don't know about that. Having kids is, uh, and maybe this is why, you know, you have the, uh, the fertility crisis. Um, It's 
it's uh, it's not a good investment. Like it's not a good. Uh, it won't make you happier. But to be fair, neither will starting a company. People still do that. All right. We're using our elite hacking tool, strings. Yeah, this is probably where all the stuff is to understand. Or we, or we could do some black box stuff if you want, right? Like, so here, like this looks like the length of one instruction and then that's another instruction. down with a banana picture in a second. Maybe she could see the text. Is that better? Uh, okay. So it looks like I don't know about that actually. Um, I don't know. Let's try dumping more. Game children are a burden, but then it becomes better. I don't know. Okay. What instruction set is this? Is this a real instruction set? Like, is this, what if this is just like risk five or, or no, it's too sparse for that. think there's going to be much insight in here except that they're k instructions so maybe we can map instructions oh did I actually send it to a different endpoint Oh, it's in single bulk endpoint mode. Very important that we support that. This would be a cool thing if we end up supporting it, you know? There are a lot of these out there. There's so much. All right, should we load it in Gidra? No, we shouldn't load it in Gidra. We should load it in Docker. Um, do I have Docker? I should just like I should just know how to do this kind of stuff. What? Uh, launch Docker shell. Docker exec command with a container. Ah, uh, container. Ubuntu? Oh, we have to docker exec it. Docker name is not running. Docker! Get your definitely has an NSA backdoor. Do they even need a backdoor at this point? The NSA can just call it ass, you know? What do they want? Imagine the NSA just like hit you up and uh, yo guys, I'm talking to someone from Nvidia too. Should we? Should we? Should we? Hey, do we want to work for this? Do we want to write Tiny Grad for the startup, or do we want to write Tiny Grad for the uh, for Nvidia? No such container, at Ubuntu.
Ubuntu is real. Oh, I have to do like focal. Focal. No such container, focal. Ubuntu colon focal? Or do I have to like get the Ubuntu? Oh, who knows how to use Docker? I don't know, Docker PS, it doesn't have anything. How do I get this container? You want to latest? No, I have to like download the container. Do I not? Does that work? No such container. Do run instead of exec. Great. Uh, we don't need latest. We want focal. Okay. Now we have the edge TPU compiler. Where is this crap? A thing into Docker. Uh, we'll put it in compile because that's the appropriate place for it. Okay. Um, edge TPU. Did I do all this last time? Well, I should have documented it better. Okay. Google Coral Edge TPU. Uh, this is right. Oh no, but it's x86 64. Oh, Docker x86 Mac M1. There's a way to do this, right? Platform? Oh, come on. Oh, please work. Please just work. Man, guys, guys, we, we will sing the praises of Docker on the next seven streams if this just works. my docker go okay. I don't even care if it's focal anymore uh, cat proxy view info no 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 what is it you name a x664 wait that just worked that's awesome. Yo, that's so cool. Uh, where are we? This one. Uh, okay. Now we just have to figure out how to link in compiler this. Docker mounts post dir. Use bind mounts. No, 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 use v. How do I do v? Volume. The fields must be in the correct order. The first field is the path on the host. Okay. Um. <laughs> Bro, wait, wait, can we just talk about how amazing Docker is that that just worked? Oh, that was so good. Oh, that was so good. Uh, let's just throw another one here. Dash B, PWD, data. Bro, dude, oh, you gotta love it. Oh, you gotta love it.
bro. I love the M1 and I love Docker. I'm, I'm, I'm rediscovering my love for computers. Now we just gotta enable verbosity to seven million. Is model edge TPU already? Oh, I don't have any TF lines. Sorry. I don't know why the log didn't. Why is the log not there? Um, that was the best thing I did all stream, guys. <laughs> that platform flag, bro. <laughs> I just want to say for a minute how much effort went into that and how much I appreciate you know, all the people who, who like made that work. Okay, uh, there's probably commit, there's probably flags. Where do they hide them? Uh, I, I did this for, there was tons of ways to enable lots of great, uh, flags in the real TPU compiler, in the big TPU compiler. So it's probably similar stuff here. For like log. Mm. Yeah, for Bruce Ballard, man. Fabrice Ballard, like. All right, how do I enable the logging? First off, it'd be interesting to be able to read these files to not have to use the uh, Hi George, I'm Mark from Docker's licensing team. Wait, is this like a meme or you're actually Mark from Docker's licensing team? What 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 is Do what am I licensing in Docker? Can I like print some stuff? <laughs> Fine. Uh, edge TPU runtime. Now th there's got to be some some flags to enable output. Info in MLIR unrecognized extension in linear solver debug dump model on. We gotta find the secret options. Debug annotation, pretty print debug info, debug string. Also logged to standard error. Did you see that? I don't 
think that doesn't even seem right though. That's cool at all, but can it multiply a matrix? Yes, yeah, somewhere deep down in this pile of garbage, it can multiply a matrix. Of course I can't S trace on here. I mean, not of course, but like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Docker just went from a 10 to a nine because I can't S trace. Oh, there's refs to get him. That's a pretty good idea, actually. Does someone want to load it up in some reverse engineering thing? Or do I have to load Gidra myself? You can S trace in Docker with extra flag. Neural FPS, thank you for gifting subs. Do you have a question? And they sub gifters before, if you're still around, you'd like to ask a question. If you're the binary, you found it. Oh, cap add sys ptrace. That's cool, but I doubt that works on the M1. Eh, maybe it does actually. Oh no, it probably does actually, because it's just in a it's running in a like a virtual Linux. Um Oh, fine. What was I working on last? That was Qualcomm shit. Loads a new uh, L trace. No, I mean, questions are allowed if you gift subs. They're usually not allowed. Like, we, we got to be nice to the people who gift subs who keep the stream going and help me eventually one day achieve my dream of purchasing a Porsche. It's so dark in this room all the time. Mm, still analyzing. Shouldn't be an on. Here we go. Temper. Temp. Temp. Tempter. Okay, maybe we said tempter. Nothing in swag. Just some get tempter garbage. Uh, what are these? Test tempter. Tempter temp. Export HDA three temp. And temp. Okay, a lot of temp stuff. What's this? ICU time zone. Probably not that. This one? Test tempter. No. 
You think Gage has got a long way before it gets to Ida? It's okay. Its decompiler is better. CC. N curses. Honestly, I like strings better. Strings? You know, you want to be a lead hacker, bro? Strings. Get good at strings. I'm not good at strings, but I aspire to be good at strings. Mm, there's all this tempter crap. There was ways to enable, this is how I got the A&E stuff too, the Apple Neural Engine stuff. There was ways to enable all this debugging. Come on, you know, oh, trace level. Oh, you know what? Okay, here's another way to do it now that I've done all the damn effort of uh, loading this thing in, uh, lo loading this thing in uh, Ghidra. They didn't leave all the function names in, did they? No, they didn't. I know, it didn't finish the processing. It's a large file. Of course, it's Google, it's huge. Double buffering will fail for this file due to misalignment. Okay, so one thing you can do when you have uh, something loaded in, once you've done all the work to load it in, you can look and like just find their print function. So here, it's probably this. And then, mm, I don't know about that. That might be a real error. If you can find ones that hate that. Okay. Maybe this is log and that's the log level, the first one. My dollar cost averaging my meta shares, I'm not doubling down. I bought some and if I lose it, I'm riding it into the ground. Come on, just, just how do I enable the... There was some trick, you know what? I had some trick here. Uh... Yeah, TPU vlog level. Oh, let's look for vlog. Where's my vlog? I just search for log though. Great, not a thing. Yeah, if you enabled this TPU vlog level, uh, it was really useful. But Google might have only did that because they think no one can see that one because it's on their servers, but you can just rent their servers. You know what, at least once we get this, once we figure this out, I mean, this, this is looking similar to the Apple Neural Engine, but at least once we figure this one out, um, it'll just work, right? Because anyone, because the USB, and it can't really even be changed, like, because I can just save the old firmware, uh, and it's just USB, I can use it from user space, right? I, it'll be totally cross-platform, Windows, Mac, and Linux, it Windows. Um, okay. I don't know, I mean, at least maybe strings will be nice to look at here. 
Guys, all I use is strings, okay? Okay, all the hacking I did in my life was just strings. So where does this get printed? Here. This looks like a nice thing that like prints something. You just need to figure out how to print, how to enable this. Look, yeah, there's all this stuff. We just enable the printing. How am I supposed to find that? Verbosity? Yeah, okay, we can try verb. No, oh, the word verb doesn't exist. Maybe let's Google it. Uh, edge TPU compiler logging. I tried using Edge TPU compiler. It doesn't work. Please turn off MLIR. Thank you, it works. Please try using new compiler version. Transpose ops, which are not supported. It produces a file with this memory profile. Okay, it doesn't look like anyone got any more outputs out of this thing than that. Co-compiling multiple models. I mean, we, we could do complete uh, like black box stuff. We, we can just start. Mm, do a single magical edge TPU block. We know about those. Did anyone get this thing to do anything more? Dash SA. I don't know, maybe that does something. The A seems to break it. What does A do? Enable multiple subgraphs, experimental flag. Show operations. I don't know, what do I put in S23? Oh, didn't like that. Wait, oh, oh, trace log file in it. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, trace, that's a good word to search for. Actually not sure. I don't know. Okay, maybe it's fine.
that's not referenced anywhere. Oh, dot log. Yeah, well, okay, but no, dot log is not useful. Um, because we do have this log, it just doesn't have much in it. tfl.log. By the way, did you ask your question and I missed it? That's very possible. Uh, no, tfl.log is log. It's actually just TensorFlow log. See the operations log file. Like, okay, it has words like k tile prolog DMA. How do I ever get this to print out? This. Here we go. This 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 is a good function. Hey, out feed. Look at look at all these great things. Um, this has got to print some stuff sometime. I missed your question. All right, what's your question? Tell me your question. Ask it again. I'm not gonna read scroll back. Oh, this is frustrating. All right. There's no real objective way to measure intelligence? Bro. Who told you that? IQ's not real, man. They just made it up to try to oppress people. I mean, it doesn't cover everything, but. Uh, oh, yeah, brain machine interfaces. Um. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting the first one. Uh, you know, non-invasive is a good sell, but even non-invasive is kind of sketchy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I'll be on the, uh, like, when 100,000 people have it. I think that's where I'll be. That's where I'll be on the, uh, on the, on the adoption curve. Okay, this is logging. Why is it doing mod? This is logging, guys. Why, 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 what? Is this if the logging's enabled? IVAR3? I hate that that doesn't highlight. We're gonna enable all the logging and we're gonna be so happy. The only objective way to measure intelligence without passing is hover Rubik's Cube, yeah, that's fair. Like this is some print thing, but um, oh come on! Now they have to just have something. There's a chance we have to do a binary patch to the program. Creating buffer. And it checks this IVAR 13. How do I highlight this? You know what's really nice and I know it will highlight it. 10,000 different kinds of intelligences. Cope, 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 cope.
It's almost dinner time, guys. Uh... Oh, yeah. You didn't gift a sub. You don't even have a sub yourself. You don't get a question. Edge TPU. Did we just try searching for Edge TPU decompiler? No. PSYSD, thank you for gifting subs. You get a question. Again, hot pot for dinner? Then you don't get a question, bro. If you can't afford $5, why should I answer your question? You're not helping me. Tachyon Ray, thank you for gifting subs. Um, we love when people gift subs. All right, I think we've moved on to question time. Um, thank you, thank you for watching. I'm jobless, yeah, guys. Uh, I don't know. Well, okay, at least now we can compile arbitrary models. So let's just get that Docker script working. Uh, HTPU, no, I'm in tiny grad. We should at least figure out how to like parse these out too. I wonder how hard that is. You know, so then we can run the model without having to load it. Uh, sounds kind of annoying. Um. Level three hype train, all right. Oh, bro, I'm gonna flex on the haters so hard. You know I love flexing on the haters. Why are you choosing this? I don't know. I just thought it'd be a kind of fun, chill stream uh, while we talk about this kind of stuff. I don't know how much I'll keep working on it. Who really cares? Uh, unless, unless, Google, would you like to sponsor me to port TinyGrad to the Google Coral? Uh, no, seriously. Uh, wait, what color is my Porsche going to be? No, 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 no. I want a boring color so I don't get pulled over too much. Uh, no, but Google, uh, would you like to sponsor me to continue my work? Uh, I would, I'd be, I'd be very happy. Um, this one I'll do for cheap, uh, but I do need some documentation. I'll do it for more if you don't want to give me any documentation. Um, but I can have a full uh, stack running on the Google Coral, uh, which will let you run arbitrary things, uh, arbitrary neural networks. Uh, think about how much more accessible, hang on, I'm speaking your language, accessible your chip will be to, um, yeah, to, to, to communities, right? No, serious though, serious. Your chip will be more accessible to more people uh, if it works in TinyGrad. Imagine all you had to do was pip install TinyGrad. You didn't have to compile the edge shit, compile the TensorFlow light, and like, yeah, sure, if you're on Ubuntu, maybe there's an easier way to do it, but come on, everyone's got Macs, bro. So uh, Google, if you would like to see me continue my work, supporting TensorFlow, I uh, such so tiny grad on the Google Coral. I understand that you make a competing framework 
and I understand that you want people to use TensorFlow, but, but, but you saw what I was subjected to. Is this really what you want to subject other people to? Or do you want to make it easy to make your Google Coral accessible to millions of people? I heard that your new company mission was to be good, and it'll be good if TinyGrad works on the Google Coral, and you should sponsor me. <laughs> um, NVIDIA, if you'd like to see Google, uh, uh, not Google, if you'd like to see CUDA support in TinyGrad become good, you can sponsor me. Um, if if, if, if uh, AMD, you don't even have a stack. AMD, you legitimately should sponsor me. For some reason, I feel like you're the least likely to do it, but you should. Um, so I will support your weird accelerators in TinyGrad and you'll get a whole new stack uh, working for your thing. Um, I, this one, I don't know. I'm gonna maybe, maybe I'll go out to dinner and then maybe when I come back, I'll uh, spend a little time off stream trying to find a debug flag. But if there's no debug flag, like do you wanna sit and reverse engineer, uh, you know, how many billions of kilobytes? That's not billions, but like still, that's like, that's like, like I don't know, a lot of kilobytes, man. It's like 250 kilobytes of instructions. Uh, so I don't know if that's what I want to do. Oh, hey, oh, it's, it's Google. Oh, oh, Google wants to, oh no, it's not Google, sorry. Um, oh, this is someone reaching out who wanted to invest in Cherry. Uh, oh shit, is that like that? Um, if, if, if actually you don't even have to be Google, um, if someone would like to sponsor me, it's probably outside the realm of an individual. I can't imagine why an individual would possibly care if tiny grad supported the Google Coral, but think of all these accelerator sticks that have will sit around in, think about the sustainability aspect, right? Come on. Am I, am I appealing to modern corporations guys? The sustainability, if you could reuse these USB sticks without having to compile all those weird uh, drivers. Uh, you can just use it simply from TinyGrad. I, I just would like to show you how simple it is to use with the Edge TPU x -Rad. And by the way, in before it only works on bananas. I'm gonna find a picture of an apple. Apple JPEG. Look at this apple. A Honeycrisp apple. And we're gonna try right now, live, in front of this live studio audience, running on the Edge TPU, Apple. Now, to be fair, um, it says that it's a Granny Smith. Now, 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 look, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but that's not a Granny Smith, it's a Honeycrisp, but at least it's an Apple, right? Right? Um... <laughs> You don't have to appeal to accessibility and sustainability purely ironically. Nah, it's not ironic. It's just real. No, it's just like no. You know what? You know what it is. You know why? It's like it just pisses me off because like it's like you make all these like lofty fucking claims. Like you build a stick that can mildly accelerate, you know, compute on like stuff. It's actually pretty probably pretty useful on like Raspberry Pis and stuff. But like, um, think of how easy it'll be for people to just pip install Tiny Ground on their Raspberry Pi. This right here is the easiest way by far in my Edge TPU X-Ray repo to use the Google Coral. And if you want this easiness to extend to say stable diffusion, oh crap, wait, if I'm gonna support this in TinyGrad, we gotta do something about the fact that this only supports ints. We'll have to make types work in TinyGrad. Wow, that sounds like some season two shit. By the way, HBO, look, 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 I'm not even gonna hate. If you sell me season two of White Lotus, I'll pay $100. I just want it all now. I really wanted to keep watching it last night. When I found out you were releasing one episode a week, I got really upset. So if you want me right now to uh, give you $100, I just want to watch all of White Lotus. And that's it. Um, what's the foundation for your ambition? Did you gift subs? You gotta give 10 subs for a question, that's stupid. <laughs>
Um, see, like, when you ask me about break computer interfaces, like, that's a real question. I come with a real answer to that. Uh, um, all right. Uh, to come AI archive, look, if I'm streaming a bit more, I understand how much effort all the timestamps are. Only do it if you enjoy it. I only do things I enjoy, and that's why I don't manage people anymore. That's why I sit here and hack Google Corals uh, and enjoy life. Maybe I'm going to go to some parties in LA. I'm going to buy a Porsche. No, that's true. No, that's, no, we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do. Um, the Tiny Corporation is real. Uh, if you'd like to come work at the Tiny Corporation, uh, like, you know, you're an engineer one. Uh, I'll hire someone if you're the right person. But like that one, I don't know, man. Like, you got to have like real insane experience with this stuff. Uh, if you want to work at Kama, Kama's hiring. If you're interested in shipping your consumer product to millions of people, uh, go work at Kama. Uh, if you're interested in Google, if you're interested in sponsoring me to finish the tiny red port to the Google Coral, uh, let's chat. Uh, NVIDIA, uh, you know, the other company, uh, yeah, just anyone, man. Uh, the tiny corporation's looking for sponsors, not investors, sponsors. Yeah, like PBS. Um, do you need a tiny resume? <laughs> uh, is AI accelerators worthy though? Every company that has is dead. Yes, I know they're dead because they didn't write software first. They built hardware first. That's why the tiny corporation stays tiny and does, you know, uh, does hardware first. You'd like to work with the tiny corporation. I did see you gift subs. So, I mean, like if you have experience, look, the way you want to really get hired for the tiny corporation, be like the Dean Lee of the tiny grad repo and then we'll actually hire you. Uh, you can look at Dean Lee in the open pilot repo. Uh, you know, we think that more people now are working on open pilot externally uh, than internally. There's more people like, uh, <laughs> how dick size is not a factor in hiring. Uh, we don't discriminate based on dick size. I'm sorry. Um, Uh, look, 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 look. There's 247 chances it's an apple. There's one chance it's a fig. By the way, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, did, did Eve really eat an apple or was it a fig? Did apples even exist or were they invented by the Chinese in the 14th century? Uh, all right. Any other questions? A collaboration for ants. <laughs> yeah, I love Zoolander. That was a great, that was a great show. It's a great movie. That's a great movie, man. Garbage, garbage. Uh, finding bugs in the universe. Uh, it's not out putting banana. It says one banana and two hundred forty-seven Granny Smith. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We'll do, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. Chicken. Let's try a chicken. Come on, chicken. Come on. Oh yeah. Hen and fifty-three chances. It's a cock. So there's, so you're saying there's a chance. Um, <laughs> what's this dog? Oh, but guys, this is running right here on the Google Coral using TPU X-Ray. To be fair, I did all this in the last stream. In this stream, I just kind of added a few things and was like, damn, this is a lot of work. And I got the compiler running in nice Docker though. That's pretty nice, right? Uh, let me just actually clean up the Docker script quickly. Um. I can do bin bash dash c. That should work, right? There you go. Now it compiles. That's pretty cool. So we did get the compiler working. Uh, and we'll leave it with Docker. 
cool. This is all local? Yeah. Google distributes a binary for the compiler. Um, and I can't figure out how to turn the debugging on. Uh, what does it say if I give it an actual cock? Yo, 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 this is a, this is a Christian channel, Christian channel. Um, all right, but so what, what did we learn? We learned these things are instructions, parameters, instructions, parameters, and then it like does something. I don't really understand why it returns a response there, but that's probably just because it's in the instructions, deep in the instructions, deep in the instruction. Debug equals one. Did we search for debug? Yeah, we searched for debug. Any, any other ideas? Verb, verb, uh, log. DBG, all right, all right, we'll try it, we'll try it. Wait, what's that? Well, that's interesting. All right, let's just take a quick look. Look, if we find something, I'll be excited, but otherwise you're right, why are we wasting time on this? There's parties in LA to go to, guys. Uh, maybe there's secret options? Dash E should do something that doesn't talk about. There's an E in there, right? M O I N S Valid Option Dash E. It says there's a dash E there. Did I try trace? Tracing n curses version. No, I don't think this is it. It's just part of end curses. Uh, trace log file in it. Did we ever find a reference to that? No. Some end curses garbage still. <laughs> Pr 
preprint. Wait, what's this? debug info again like I don't even know if this is part of the uh... how do I set these oh there's LLVM inside of this Oh, boys, it's so addictive, you know? Print debug info opt as in printer options. Yeah, we tried for both. No, I kind of just don't think there's really anything in here. Why do you think map? Although that memory map thing is interesting. What prints that out? Right, that looks like some real debugging shit. All right, you wouldn't put that in there unless there was some way to enable it. Oh no, this is just, this is not good. This is just like the, uh... I don't think this is a, that it is it is dinner time it's been dinner time for a while Now that I finished, we can quickly look through these. Mm. 
this stuff's not like test temp dir is not this is some external thing right yeah this is some google little api Google 3 native code depths NSO what that does temp dir path path Hmm. Dead end wrapper. Anything interesting? No, this is stupid. Uh, end curses crap. Lines, column, end curses trace. It's not this, is it? I can't be this. No, it's not even a goose thing. Baud rate? Okay. Term. No, more anger is garbage. Another wrapper. Uh, I don't know. Test tempter and ICU data. Nope. Nope. All these are useless. Edge TPU compiler output logs. Oh, you think there's an older version that maybe, uh... Why do you think it show operations? Oh yeah, no, but that, no, no, no. I mean, that is a real thing, but that doesn't really do anything. How do I enable that info? Oh no, that's a separate, that's using TensorFlow Lite. No, I didn't compile the compiler. There's no source code. Come on, even Apple. 
Even Apple had more stuff. What is this? Search delegate? Added in V16. Oh, there are newer versions of this? I don't think newer versions are going to help me, but. Partition with profiling. Well, maybe this has some secret. Uh... Uh, can tiny grad do Jacobians? Um, uh, I'm not sure. I think it can. Well, mm, with some tiny changes, it can. I mean, you can do them if you, I think if you do it like one at a time, it can. I think if you want to do a lot, you'd have to like rewrite it. But I do like implicit gradient creation, so that's not going to give you that, but uh, I think there's probably just some way. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Bolt seg flag. flags here. What is this? Infer input output batches. Huh. How do I set those flags? Not like that, obviously.
Yeah, okay. There, there, there's going to be some way to enable this. Only allow TPU ops. Where do I put that? Maybe you need some environment variable to enable secret flags. I could believe that. This one clearly isn't in anything else. Let's bing it just for just for good measure, just in case Google's trying to hide from us. Oh, all right, how do I enable that? Are there any good secret flags? No, it's not. It's not the double. How do you enable the secret flags? Okay, they, look, they're close here to the other flags. They're close here to like min runtime version, which is a real flag. Oh, maybe it just doesn't have a dash. Just open a file. Looks like it might be some kind of verbosity thing. I don't know, why am I wasting time with us? How'd I figure out there were hidden flags? I just found it in strings, bro. I told you, all hacking is just strings. You know what, if, someone, if some hacker won't admit to you that all they know how to use is strings, then they're not a lead hacker, man. People are like, I use, I use, uh, I use fuzzing, and I use uh, control flow analysis tools. No, you use strings, bro. Did I dump the firmware? Oh, I do have the firmware, too. Oh, that might be easier. I mean, that's an option as well. I have the firmware. You download it. Here, it's called Apex Latest Single App. But actually, no, it doesn't have a single string in it, so never mind. Imagine spending all this time and it's not debug equals one. All right, we're gonna try debug equals one. No, it's not debug equals one. All right, you happy?
No, it just might not exist. Like those secret flags might just not be anything. You might have to. Have, okay, we're gonna try one more thing. Sometimes, sometimes they only leave stuff in old versions. Did it get bigger or smaller? Oh, it got smaller, it got a lot smaller. Wait, it's a lot smaller? What did they add? This looks easier to sort through. find the one that they accidentally built as the what do you think deploria three where's the one where they accidentally wrote debug equals one it's a slightly newer version how large is it wow they added a ton of megabytes all right let's try yield Why is this binary closed source? I don't know. You think if we find the really old one, it works? Any information we want from the logs? We want to try dash V? <laughs> no. I mean, <sighs> look, if this doesn't work, we could um, we could black box it. But then again, we need sponsorship for that. All right, the stream already went on way too long. You just like you're just like you you feel like you're one flag away from like a magical like um thing working. But in reality, you're probably not. No, it's not anything with debug. Oh, unless we do one check for Unicode. I know Google likes to be accessible, so it could be Unicode. 
Uh, what's this flag for strings for Unicode? See, I'm really not a lead hacker anymore. I don't even know the flag for strings Unicode. Okay, there was nothing like Google debug. I would have definitely noticed that, but I'm happy to try it. There we go, it does nothing. Um, E L E B. All right, let's try it. I don't know. I feel this only works on GNU strings. It doesn't work on Mac strings. Oh, do we have strings on here? No, we don't have strings. <laughs> this is a waste of time. <laughs> Bin utils. Oh, that's gonna take forever. Filter out strings containing Google. Okay. Oh. What the hell? How did I miss that when I did log? Google debug on failure. Well, this is everything with Google. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. This is a reference to Glog? I thought I searched for that. No, there's no reference to Glog. You saw a reference to Glog? Glog contains references to test tempter. Again, just because these things are linked doesn't mean there's actually any logging to enable. miss this in my get env search. I really didn't do this very thoroughly now, did I? Okay, Google log to standard error is already one by default. Also log to standard error is not one by default. Oh, I missed it because it, I say. This is just, get just annoying. I don't understand how to even get back there. Glog V. I don't know. Like there might be some magical thing here. You're a CRUD developer. That's great. Do you know how to solve this problem? G 
Geolog doesn't appear in here at all. Debug mode support. Uh, severity levels. If the Google G flags library isn't installed, works. Look at how exciting that is. I really want you to print that out. When do you print that out? Is GDB working, Docker? I feel like it like uses ptrace and doesn't work. I probably can enable capabilities ptrace or something. This is how I had luck. You know, maybe I'm just too hung up on this approach because this is how I had luck with the, uh, this is how I had luck with the, uh, the big TPO. No, we're gonna go eat in a minute. I'm not telling you where I am, man. That's invasive. Bro. Bro. Yeah, let's see if GDB works. No. Error disabling ASLR. <laughs> all right guys uh it's food time uh if anybody gets any uh debug output from that compiler uh, i'll be impressed uh send me an email and you get vip on this channel uh because i wasted an hour on that you get vip vip on this channel is very hard to earn um so everybody you know go look and see if you can get the edge tpu compiler to spit out debugging information um if you work at google do not leak me any trade secrets i don't want to get lewandowski would uh, so, you know, don't leak me any trade secrets, guys, but if you find it through good, clean, spamming of random things until you've hit it, uh, that's good. That's good. 
Uh, all right. Thank you all for watching my stream today. Uh, you know, if you don't do the, uh, the things, I know they're a lot of work. Uh, you know, the long streams especially. Uh, yo, I'm going to go eat some tacos. Eat some tacos. I'm going to eat some burritos. I'm going to eat some quesadillas. I'm going to go to parties in L.A. Now we're going to be here working, boys. Um, uh, we're going to be here working. All right. Uh, last question. Happy, oh, yeah, happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. Why am I not out trick-or-treating right now? That's a good point. All right, see you later. I'm going